all you brethren in the Lord. It's, uh, <laughs> who obeyed him? Which one of you obeyed him and God gave you both the Holy Ghost? See? I said, would you say, Brother Sism, that Brother Nest hasn't got the Holy Ghost? I said, no. Golly. Because uh, the head, the highest order in the church is the shepherd. We realize that. The pen there just, if some schism of the United Pentecostal Church, I guess you United Pentecostal brother, remember him. He is also of uh, the Northwestern um, territories up there, that he was uh, over them in the districts up there. Well, these two men met, and I was to be brought before them because the, the edges was getting sharp. And it was cutting at me from every way. And I thought, well, what must I do? What can I do? Now, well, they said, well, you must take sides with one or the other. If you're going to go with the Jesus name, you have to be Jesus name. And if you go with the assemblies of God, you have to leave away from Jesus name and be assemblies of God or so forth. It come to a place where I had to make a showing of some sort. I prayed much that morning for going down. I said, God, help me, because there's two great men, there's thousands of servants, and you have sent me out here with a ministry, and they're both your servants, and should I throw what little influence I have to one organization when it's fighting the other one? See? Uh, I, I just can't feel right in doing that. I do not think that it would be the will of Christ for me to do it. I said, God, help me and give me something to do or give me something to say. And then I had no one. I just had to stand there, just the Lord Jesus and I that morning. Well, the great debate come up. What are you going to do? What, uh, what, what decision are you going to make? I said, my decision has already been made. That my decision is to stand between both of you and join neither organization and say with arms around both of you, we are brethren. Yeah. See, we are brethren. Right. And I said, I have tried to read all the books that I could, how this come up, what was called this new issue, and how you separated themselves, and how that this one began this way and that way. And I said, in arguments between you, I said, that's the same thing that broke up the Pentecostal move on the day after Pentecost. They began to argue among one another. And I said, the thing <coughs> separates again. I said, is there a possibility that there could be a medium between you, you brethren? Is there anything that uh, could stand? Well, they wouldn't open their mouth on that because it was very sharp. You know about uh, 15, 20 years ago how it was because the one group had just pulled from the other and there was contention very much. So... I said, well, brethren, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... St God never sent me to baptize anyhow. <laughs> he sent me to pray for his sick children. <laughs> I said, so I am going to, uh, to pray for the sick children, and you ministers do your own baptizing. <laughs> I said, I said uh, now I want to ask you something, just so that you will understand. I said, Brother Nest, uh, these jesus named people... Do you believe that they have received the Holy Ghost when they speak in tongues and do the same thing that you in the assemblies of God does? I said, certainly. I said, Brother Sisson, do you believe that the assemblies of God have the Holy Ghost when they speak in tongues and do the same thing you did upon the baptism? He said, sure I do. I said, now, the Bible said God gives those the Holy Ghost who obeys Him. Now, who obeyed him? <laughs> who obeyed him? Which one of you obeyed him and God gave you both the Holy Ghost? See? I said, would you say, Brother Sism, that Brother Nest hasn't got the Holy Ghost? I said, no. I said, would you say that Brother Sism hasn't got the Holy Ghost? No. See? That they both believed each other had the Holy Ghost. But you see, it just doesn't make sense, brethren. It doesn't make sense. And I heard a little later from that, I'll come back to my point in a minute. The Finnish brethren over here, after I had left Finland, where God gave us what I thought one of our greatest, my great sponsors internationally, and the Four Square, which was a pull away from the Assemblies of God, is one of my great sponsors. The one that is internationally is one of my great sponsors. See? And I just took that stand, only leaving sharp edges, and then took a stand that I will not take stands on either side of that fussing until we can see we are brothers and come together and then we'll, we'll all see that same direct point there that we're coming to, the motive and objective of doing so. And you, you must 
test your motive and objective first. First, find the will of God. And then find your objective. And then test your motive and see if your motive is right. Then, as Jesus said in Mark 11, uh, 24, if you say to this mountain, be moved, and don't doubt in your heart. But as long as you got doubt in the heart, whether it's the will of God or your motive or objective is wrong, how is it going to move? But when you know that your motive is right and it's the will of God and your objective is right, it's got to move. That's all. Or God told something wrong. That's the very reason when I go to the platform in churches, no one has never heard me mention those things on platform, those issues. I just let them alone. See, that's up to the you man. See, I'm here to help you win souls to Christ by a divine gift. You see, so it don't make any difference. You do your baptizing. But uh, then when it comes, of course, I've been called everything. I've been called, uh, uh, I don't know how many, anywhere from an a incarnate son of God down to a, a, a devil. <laughs> That's right, everything. But at the back of it all, I'm your brother, fellow citizen of the kingdom of God, working with you all for the kingdom. And that is true. Now... Uh, if it's all right and you think we have enough time, I'd like to tell you how we discuss that. Would it be all right, brother, just for a minute, brother, uh, brother Nest and them? All right. And it might be a little bit that would help you. It help you to understand kind of, I wrote down uh, here some of the things that I remembered. It took off there. And um, so uh, they uh, asked me, what did I believe about the Trinity? that I believe that there was a trinity of God. Now, brethren, when we approach this, I hope that when this is over, that we'll be the same brothers that we've been all along. See, But I feel that I owe it to you because your people comes to my meetings, and I certainly wouldn't want to send one of them away deceived. And I have always told the people who write me questions outside of what I preach on the platform, and here's my secretary and so forth, if they ask me a question, what about this or what about that, I said, ask your pastor. See, because if he's led you this far to you've received the Holy Ghost, He'll take you on, you see. You, uh, see, you ask your pastor because little things like that causes confusion, and therefore I leave away from it, you see. Now, and I've been said that I was uh, a fighter of organizations. Now, I am not. I think that organizations is wonderful. But when your system of your organization gets corrupt, that's what I'm against. See, yes. no matter whether it's oneness or, or it's a trinity or whatever it is, the system that when you get to a spot, you now I say, we are the assemblies of God. Well, who's that across the street? Oh, that's our brethren. They are, they are called the United Pentecostal. Well, who's that over there? Oh, that's the four square brethren. Oh, we are a wonderful brethren. We have a great fellowship one with another. Oh, do you all believe the same thing? Oh, yes, we believe. Now, well, what makes you this way? Well, these brethren baptize this way and these baptized this way, face fomus, and these baptized, like in South Africa there, brother, we run up on that. They asked me, one group baptizes three times face forward, and the other baptized three times face backward. And they said, uh, when he died, the Bible said he pitched forward. And said, therefore, we should pitch him forward. And I said, well, to the other group, what, did, what about you? said, did you ever bury a man with his face down? <laughs> well, and you know what? They separated themselves and made two groups, two organizations. Oh, mercy, brother. That's just what the devil wants. That's just what he wants. But, uh, get yourself. Now, see, it's not the apostolic faith mission or, or is it, either it is the uh, Pentecostal assemblies on the other side. It isn't that they're fine men in both groups like there is here. But you see, it's the system of the thing. It's uh, just like the Catholic, as I've often and said, if he's a Catholic and depending on Christ for salvation, he's saved. Yeah. Certainly. That's right. If he's depending on the church, he's lost. And any of you Pentecostal brother know, if we're looking to the Pentecostal church to save us, we're among man most miserable. That's right, because we're lost. That's right. But if we're looking to Jesus Christ, then we're saved by our faith of our finished work. And these little working things and brands, it doesn't make much difference. Now, I said to Brother Sism to, and Brother Ness to answer your question, I said, now, I do not take either sides with you, brethren, and I know as long as you fuss, you're both wrong. 
See? Because I would rather be wrong in my doctrine and right in my heart than to be right in my doctrine and wrong in my heart. Amen. Right. I said, after all, it's your heart's condition. And I've made that a practice to know this, that if a man, no matter what he does and how much he differs, and what he says about me, if in my heart, not from Mr. Duty, but from my heart, I can't love that man as well as I love anyone else, then I know there's something wrong in here. See? That's right, because it's it, no matter if he, uh, a little brother come not long ago, a little Church of Christ brother, and, oh, he stood up there and he said, this guy's the devil. See? He said, he says of the Holy Ghost, he said, there is no such a thing. They, uh, only the twelve apostles received the Holy Ghost. And, and divine healing was only given to those twelve apostles. And went on about a half hour. And I said, just a moment, brother. I think you ought to give me just a chance to defend this. See, I said, you said that you spoke where the Bible spoke. It was silent where it was silent. And he said, we do. I said, now you said that just the twelve apostles received the Holy Ghost. The Bible said there was 120 in the upper room when the Holy Ghost fell. That's right. Women and all. And would you mind to tell me, do you think Paul didn't have the Holy Ghost? And he received it a long time after that. See? And you said the gift of healing was only given to the twelve apostles, and Stephen's went out a few days later, and he wasn't one of the twelve. He's not even a preacher. He is a deacon. And went out to Samaria and cast out devils. And I said, oh, brother, uh, it's very silent right here where you have to keep it. And after it was over, I said, I forgive you for calling me a devil, because I know you didn't mean that. And then when he got finished, he come up, he said, there's one thing I can say. You have the Spirit of Christ. I said, now, brother, which am I, a devil or of Christ? See, see? But I tell you, see, because if a man, he could tell that I loved him. No matter he was disagreeing and horribly disagreeing and lambasting, I'm a hunter. And uh, with wild beasts all my life. And people said, how that time when I had to kill that bear with a knife? See, said, so wasn't you afraid of him? I said, no. If I had been afraid of him, he'd kill me. See, but see, you can't, you can't bluff them. They know whether you're afraid of them or not. That's right. <laughs> You'd be afraid of a horse and watch what a horse will do. He'll stomp you. See? So if you're afraid, you can't bluff it. You've really got to have it. Amen. That's the way it is with Satan. Amen. That's the way it is among man. Amen. You've got to love man. You can't just bluff it. You've got to have it or your colors will show somewhere. See, that's right. You've really got to love people and they know you love them. See, there's something about it. And the man now called my wife a few days ago and says, is Brother Branham there? Said, no. Said, well, one thing I have to say, I disagree with him in theology, but I say he's a servant of Christ. Well, then, um, and then before I left, he sent a letter to me and he said, I'm coming up as soon as you get back. I want that baptism of the Holy Ghost that you're talking about. So, you see, just where, if, you'd have, if I'd have had that feeling of saying, well, there's nothing to you. Your old denomination is no good. And, and uh, all you uh, Church of Christ people is no good. You're no good. You're, you're devils. I'd never won that man. Amen. And if I would have told him that I loved him and didn't mean it in my heart, he'd have known better. <laughs> that's, that's all there is to it. You've got to mean it in your heart. Amen. And that's on the nights when I walk out on that platform under that discernment. See, I don't think about it. I just don't eat too from dinner time and fast and pray and stay in the room because he promised me he would do it. Amen. And therefore, I go without one shadow of doubt because he promised he would do it. Amen. Therefore, see, my, I know my motive is what? My objective is what? For the furtherment of the kingdom of God. If a man goes this way, that way, whatever church he goes, as long as he comes to Christ, it doesn't Amen. matter to me. And that's in my heart. See? And no matter if we go over and join the Church of Christ, that's just all right. That's fine. If he, what church he joins, it doesn't matter to me. But as long as I want his soul with Christ is the main thing. So I said, Brother Ness, not to be different. Now, I'm going to... Sh it's all right to use this, Brother. I said, I want to say and explain, and in this I might say to you, Brother, in here, now... Don't mention this amongst your congregations. If you will, and do me a favor, just just, just let me just be your brother, you see. And, I, and if, uh, if I'm wrong, then you forgive me. But I want to explain to you, being that there's both groups sitting here this morning, uh, both the oneness and the, the assemblies also in the Trinitarian belief. Now, I want to make this statement 
I want to say that I believe that both sides are wrong as long as they argue one with another because their motives is wrong. Mm -hmm. As long as your motives is wrong, no matter what your objective is, but your motives to that objective is wrong, then it'll never work. That's right. Now, some people have said, Brother Branham, you are a Jesus only. I want to say that that is an error. I am not a Jesus only. Somebody says, Brother Branham, are you a Trinitarian? No, sir. I am not a Trinitarian. I'm a Christian. See, I, I, I don't... The word Trinitarian don't even uh, mention in the Bible the word Trinity. And I do not believe that there is three individual gods. I believe there is one God in three offices. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Amen. That's exactly why we were commissioned to baptize in the name of Father, Son, yeah. Holy Ghost. Yeah. I believe that it's God condensing, coming down. Now, God, when He first appeared to man, He was in a form of a pillar of fire. You believe that, don't you? The, any Bible reader that knows that the pillar of fire that was in the wilderness was the Logos. That, uh, that was the angel of the covenant, which was Christ, because He said... He was, it wasn't, I believe it's St. John 6 there. He said, before Abraham was of the I Am. He was the I Am. So that was God holy. Even if a man touched the mountain, he must be killed. See? All right. Now, that same God was trying to work himself back into his creature that he created. Now, he could not come near them because they were sinful. <laughs> And the blood of goats and sheep never did take away sin. We know that. It just covered sin. Now, but then that same God that was the pillar of fire, He became flesh through His Son and dwelt in a body called the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible said, In Him dwells the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And Jesus said, in my, Well, in 1 Timothy 3.16, without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. And if they could call it great, why, what would we do, see? Great is the mystery of God, for God was manifested in the flesh and seen of angels and received up into glory and so forth. Now, and he said in St. John 14 to Thomas, when you have seen me, you have seen the Father. And why sayest thou, show us the Father? The Bible said that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. Now, God cannot be three people, three gods, neither can Jesus be his own father Man. in one, Man. see? Man. So, you see, it makes both radically wrong. Now, and now, if you'll just notice, there's no place, if we got three gods, we're heathens. Now, we know that. Like the Jew said to me uh, one time when I was talking to him, he said, which one of them is your God? Which one is your God? The Father, the Son, or the Holy Ghost? Which one's yours? I said, well, there's no three gods. He said, you can't chop, chop God in three pieces and give him to a Jew. I said, no, sir. I said, when John Ryan had been healed of blindness there at Fort Wayne, you know, and this rabbi up here at Mishawa, at, um, Fort, uh, Benton Harbor, he said, uh, you can't chop God no three pieces and give him to a Jew. I said, certainly not. I don't. I said, Rabbi, would it be hard for you to believe the prophets? He said, no. I said, in Isaiah 9 and 6, who is he talking about? To us a child is born, son is given, be called counselor, mighty God, prince of peace. He said, that was a Messiah. I said, then, uh, Rabbi, what relation will Messiah be to God? He said, he will be God. That's what I thought. <laughs> you see, that's exactly right. That's what he is. And so I said, tell me now where Jesus failed to fulfill exactly what the prophet said he would do. And he started to cry and walk around. I said, by that, John Ryan has his sight. See? And he said, um, far be it from God having a son. I said, the great Jehovah overshadowed a woman as the prophet said he would and created a blood cell. And to that blood cell is where come forth the body of Christ. Look, in the Old Testament, Rabbi, I said, when a man went to make an offering, he took a lamb. He knew he had broke the commandments of God, so he took a lamb, he confessed his sins, and this lamb was killed. While the, his hands being on the lamb, his confession, that he knew that he should die for his sin, but the lamb was taking its place, and the blood cell was broke, and he held the little lamb by his hand. 
until he felt his little life go out of it and stiffen out. And then the priest, of course, uh, throwed the blood on the, on the fire, the brazing altar of judgment. Then I said, that man then, he went out of there knowing that the lamb had took his place, but he went out with the same desire he had when he come in. See? Because it could not take away sin. See? But in this case, the worshiper once purged has no more conscience of sin. Mm. There, there was an offering made yearly. But I said, now there is this time the worshiper once purged has no more conscience of sin. Because, look, Rabbi, in the hemoglobin, that little life that begins in the cell, which it comes from the male sect, into the female and she produces the egg but a hen can lay an egg but if it hasn't been with the male bird it'll never hatch and I said then God the greatest that filled all time and space became down to one little germ to the womb of a woman and then I said when we are saved today Jesus was neither Jew nor Gentile Mm -hmm. because the egg only produced the flesh. The blood had the life, so we, we are, the Bible said, we are saved by the blood of God. Right. See, he was neither Jew nor Gentile, he was God. Therefore, when we come to the altar and put our hands by faith upon his head and feel the tearing and agony of Calvary and confess our sins, that we are wrong and he died in our place. Mm -hmm. Then, you see, I said the blood of that lamb could not come back upon this, the blood that was cell was broke and the life that was let loose in breaking his blood cell of the lamb could not come back upon the worshiper because it was a animal life and it would not coincide with the human life. But this time, when that blood cell was broke, it wasn't merely a man. That was God's life was released. And when the worshiper lays his hands by faith upon the Son of God and confesses his sins, not the life of another man, but the life of God comes back into this man, which is eternal life, the word Zoe, which is translated God's own life. And he said he would give us Zoe, eternal life, and now we are sons and daughters of God. There you are. I said, now what is it? It's God condensing. He came first, no man could touch him because man had sinned. Then he was come down in a body in order to taste sin, to take sin. See, he, the only thing God could do to be just was do it that way. For instance, what if I had the Jewish diction of this audience this morning like that God had over the human race? Now, I say the first man looks at that post dies and Tommy Hicks looks at it. Now, for instance, I'd say, Carl, Brother Carlson, you die for him. That wouldn't be just. I'd say, Leo, you're my secretary. You die for him. That wouldn't be just. Billy Paul, my son, you die for him. That isn't just. The only way I can be just is take his place myself. Amen. And that's what God did. He, God, is a spirit. And he created... He, he changed his cast. It ought to be striking to people Amen. to think of little Jehovah. He could have come a full-grown man. But he come into a manger over a manure pile. Little Jehovah crying like a baby. Little Jehovah playing like a boy. Little Jehovah carpenter like a workman. A little Jehovah in the teenage. Jehovah hanging between heavens and earth with gobs of drunken slobbers and spits of soldiers up on his face. Jehovah dying for his children. Amen. Jehovah dying to redeem not another person but God himself. Yes. Amen. See, God, that was his office. Why? He's trying to get back to the heart of man. Now, we couldn't touch him there. Here we felt him with our hands. Now, what did he do through the offering of that body? He becomes Jehovah in us. Yeah. We are parts of him. Yeah. On the day of Pentecost, the pillar of fire bursted itself up and tongues of fire set upon each one showing that God was separating himself amongst his church. And then, brother, if we can only get together and bring that together, then we got Jehovah in the fullness when we come together. But how can we, when this one's speaking in tongues, we got the baptism, this one, and then keep this lick of fire over here, and this one, let's put it together. Amen. When God on the day of Pentecost come down and the Bible said tongues of fire set upon each of them. And their tongues like a fire licks. 
is that pillar of fire separating itself and dividing itself amongst the people that we would be brother. And that day, you know what I'm in the Father, Father, me, I, and me, and you, and me. And we, we're, we're one. Yes. We are one, not divided. Now, Jehovah God up here couldn't touch the human race because of his own law of holiness. Jehovah God became sin for us and paid the price that the same Jehovah God could come and live in us. Yes. God above us, God with us, God in us. Yes. Not three gods, one God. Hallelujah. Professors go crazy trying to figure it out. It's, it's a revelation. Yes. It's got to be revealed to you. Now, now, when it comes to the baptism, now, many people, now, you've got to do that, brother, or it's like I said to Brother Sism and to Brother Ness, that if you, oh, the, the argument came up, and, and many of you scholars here is more sufficient than I, but I've done a much studying upon the subject, and I've read the pre nicene Fathers, the Nicene Council, uh, and all the historians and so forth. That issue come up at the Nicene Council. Both sides went to seat. When the Catholic Church took the extreme Trinitarian side, and the others went to Unitarian. And both sides went out. Exactly right, because man had something to do into it. You've got to let God do it. Yes. No need of us trying to figure it out. Let's be brothers. Let's yes. just go on and let God do the thing Hallelujah. that He's going to do. If He's infinite and knows all things and predicted the end from the beginning, how can we do anything about it? Just keep moving on. That's why keep in step, as I said last night, with our great Joshua. Now look, if there is three gods, I just want to show you how ridiculous this is. If there is three gods, then Jesus was his own father. Uh, Jesus could not have been his own father, being one. And if there's three, he wasn't born to virgin birth. Now, how many, I'm going to say this is God the Father, and this is God the Son, and this is God the Holy Ghost. Now, to you different brethren here, you watch this just a minute, and you see what I'm trying to point at. I pray that God will let you see it. Now, look, you both believe the same thing. Amen. But the devil's just got between you and broke you up about it. Amen. It's exactly the same thing. I'll prove it to you. By the help of God and with God's Bible. If it ain't the Bible, then don't receive it. That's right. But now look. This is what God the Father. This is God the Son. This is God the Holy Ghost. Well now, let's stop now just a minute. Laying those three out there. God the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Oh, I, I'm not going to have time to do this. Go ahead. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, Go ahead. See, uh, well, I hurry just quick as can. Forgive me, my brethren. But I, I, I've never got to talk to you, and I, I want to do this. And then look, God the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. Now, who was the Father of Jesus Christ? God was the Father of Jesus Christ. We all believe that. Is that right? Amen. All right. Now, when we take Matthew 28:19. When Jesus said, Go ye therefore, teach all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Ten days afterwards, Peter said, Repent and be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There's a straight contradiction somewhere. Now let's still, is the, everybody's testified and things. Here it is, here's my belief, and I'm just laying out before you, brethren. I don't say this out in the pulpits. It's up to you. But I want to show you what I see on both sides so the Holy Spirit reveal it to you. See? Now, Matthew 28, 19, and if, if Matthew 28, 19 contradicts Acts 2, 38, then there's a contradiction in the Bible, and it's not worth the paper it's wrote on. Amen. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Now, if you'll notice, in Matthew, the 16th chapter, Jesus gave to Peter the revelation and gave him the keys. Now, remember, the Bible is not revealed by theology. If some man made a scheme... It's not. It's a revelation. Amen. It was a revelation to begin with. Why did Abel offer unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain? It was revealed to him that it wasn't peaches and apples and oranges and apples. If apples <laughs> make women realize they're naked, we better pass the apples again, brother. Don't you think so? <laughs> I, I, that sounds sacrilegious, but I don't mean to say that. But it wasn't apples. No, sir. Now, and if that be so, then it was revealed to Abel that he was the blood of his father. So he offered blood because it was a revelation. The whole thing's built up on that. Now look, here's an old ignorant fisherman. Not even enough education. The Bible said he was ignorant and unlearned. 
But he was standing there, and Jesus asked the question, Who do you say I, the Son of Man, am? One said, Why, you're, you're Moses. They say, You're Moses. Who do, do you, uh, they say, I'm, One said, Why, well, you're Jeremiah, so the prophets, and this, that, the other. He said, That's not the question. I asked you, Who do you say that I am? And Peter stayed right out and said, Thou art the Son of God. And he said, Blessed art thou, Simon, son of Jonas. Now watch. Flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father which is in heaven. Now watch. Now the Catholic Church says that he built the church upon Peter. That's wrong. The Protestant Church says he built it upon himself. But now watch and find out. See if it is. He built it up on the spiritual revelation of who he was. Amen. See? Amen. Because he said, Blessed art thou, Simon, son of Jonas. Flesh and blood has not revealed this to you. I say thou art Simon. Upon this rock, what rock? The revelation. Amen. Yes. I will build my church and the gates of hell cannot prevail against it. Amen. Then when Peter standing present, when Matthew 28 was quoted and turned around on and ten days later with that revelation and baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, why did he do it with the revelation of God and had the keys to the kingdom, brother? Amen. Now, I might hurt you for a minute, one side of you. Amen. But stop just a minute. There is not one place in the Bible where any person was ever baptized in the name of Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Amen. There's not one place in the Scriptures. And if there is, produce it. And if you can find anywhere in the sacred history until the forming of the Catholic Church, I want you to produce it. There's no place now, and that's true. But now, wait a minute, you oneness. Just a second. Now, there's no place where if any man can show me one text of Scripture where that ceremony was used in the Bible, a Father, Son, Holy Ghost, you're obligated to come tell me where somebody was baptized like that. And some of them said, well, I'll take what Jesus said, not what Peter said. If they were contrary one to another, what are we going to do? If it all ain't God, what part of the Bible is right? Amen. It's all got to coincide and come together. Right. And only the revelation of God, our schools will ever teach it. Amen. It's a revelation Amen. that you must see. It. Then if them two men were contrary one to another, then what kind of a Bible are we reading? Amen. How do I know whether... John 14 is right or not. How do I know whether uh, John 3 is right or not? How, how, how do I know? See? But the only way that I can have faith in God is to know that that Bible is right and believe it's right and stay right with it. Though I don't understand it, I move it anyhow. Amen. But when these contradictions comes up, then I go before God yeah. to find out. And the same angel that meets me in the meeting at the night is the same one who taught me. This. See? Now, see if this is how this is now. Now, Matthew 28, 19, let's watch just a moment now. And now I'm going to take Acts 2, 38 right here. Where Peter said, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, and Matthew said, uh, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Now listen. He said, baptize them not in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. He never said that. There's no name and name and name. He never said, baptize them in the names of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, because it's not even sensible. Amen. He said, baptize them in the name, N-A-M-E, of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Is that right? Of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. The conjunction, and, and, and. Not names. Not in the name of the Father, name of the Son, name of the Holy Ghost. Not in the names of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, but in the name, N-A-M-E, singular. Of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Now, which one of them is the right name to baptize? It's one name. Which one is his Father the right name, or his Son the right name, or his Holy Ghost the right name? It's a name somewhere. Is that right? Well, now, I want to ask you something. Then. If the name, then if Jesus said, baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, how many believe that Jesus said that? That's the Scriptures, Matthew 28, 19. In the name of the Father, Son. It's something that... We know it. I go. All right. Two, three, brother Brown. Yeah. I want to change this tape over, and I don't want to. All right, just now. Now, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Now, listen, brethren. There is no such a thing as name of the Father, because Father is not a name. It's a title. Amen. 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 There's no such a thing as the name of Son, because Son is a title. 
There's no such a thing as name of Holy Ghost. That's what it is. I was saying that at a ministerial breakfast one morning, one woman, out of order, of course, anybody would disrupt anything like that. She said, wait just a minute. I beg your pardon. That Holy Ghost is a name. I said, that's what it is. I'm a human, but my name's not human. It is the Holy Ghost. Mm. That's not a name. That's what it is. So now, and of course, but it's not a, it's a, it's a, it's not a name. Now, if name, then what is the name? We want to find out. Now, we can get it all in one place here if you just watch and serve a little time. Now, or conserve a little time, I meant to say. Now, notice, Matthew twenty-eight nineteen. Now, I don't say that you, you might have done it, uh, some of you sisters or brothers. You might have picked up a book someday and looked at the back of it and said, John and Mary lived happy ever after. Well, who is John and Mary? What is, who is John and Mary? They live happy ever after. There's only one way you'll ever go know who John and Mary is. That if it's a puzzle to you, go back and read the book. Is that right? Amen. Go back to the first and read it through, and it tells you who John and Mary is. Well, if Jesus said, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, which said, Go ye therefore, teach all nations, baptize them into the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and neither Father, Son, or Holy Ghost is a name, then if it's a puzzle, we better go back to the first of the book. Now let's turn back to the first chapter of Matthew, and we'll start there. It gives the genealogy until it comes down to the 18th verse. Now watch. Now watch just a minute. This is Father on my right side. This in the middle is Son. And this is the Holy Ghost. Now, this is the Father of Jesus Christ. Is that right? God is the Father of Jesus Christ. We all believe that? Amen. All right. Now, Matthew 1.18 says, Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise... When his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before she, they came together, she was found with a child of the... I thought God was his father. <laughs> and she shall bring forth a son, they shall call his name Jesus. And her Joseph, her husband, being a just man, not willingly to make her a public example, but minded to put her away privately on this wise, while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. I thought God was his father. Now, has he got two fathers, brethren? He can't have. He was. He's a bastard child. And what kind of a religion have we got there? You've got to admit that God the Father and the Holy Ghost is the same self-spirit. Amen. Yeah. Sure it is. Sure, it's the same self-spirit. Now, we got down to see that. And she shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from his sin. This is all done that it might be fulfilled. I'm quoting scripture. You ministers know it's a go. That it might be fulfilled, spoke a uh, prophet of the Lord, saying, A virgin shall conceive and bring forth a child, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is by interpretation... God with us. Is that right? Then what is the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? Well, certainly. That's the reason Peter is baptizing in the name of Jesus Christ. But I don't care if you're baptized in the name of Rose of Sharon, Lily of the Valley, and Morning Star. That's titles, too. If your heart is right towards God, He knows your heart. But now, now I express that. Now, now, I said, now, Brother Sism said, now, of course, sure, that looked like one. So he was right in for that. Now, I said, now, um, uh, here, I want to say something to you now. See? I said, now, I want to prove to you that these both men said the same thing. Now, Matthew said, in the name of the Father. Is that right? Amen. All right. And Peter said, in the name of the Lord. Matthew 28, 19 said, In the name of the Father. And Acts 2, 38 said, In the name of the Lord. David said, The Lord said unto my Lord. Who was it? Father and Lord is the same name. David said, The Lord said unto my Lord, Set thou on my right hand. See? In the name of the Father, in the name of the Lord. And Matthew said, In the name of the Son. And Peter said, In the name of Jesus. Who is the Son? Jesus. And the name of the Holy Ghost was Matthew. And Peter said, in the name of Christ, the Logos. Father, Son, Holy Ghost, 
Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Why, it's just as perfect as it can be. See, Brother Sism said to me, uh, Brother Sism, the one is brother, he said, Brother Branham, that's right. But he said, that is this. I said, then this is that. See? I said, that's this, this is that. So what are you fussing about? I said, let me recommend to you, brother. If I ever baptize a person, here's what I, I said. Now, here's Dr. Ness. Hey, somebody said a while ago, you brother, and she knew Dr. Ness. Well, I'll say here, uh, uh, Brother Hicks, here, he has a, I think you have a doctor degree, is that right? All right. Now, I said, if Dr. Ness is sitting here. Now, I said, um, if I wanted, now, when I take a person to the water to baptize them, I recognize it just like he did. I said that was titles that went to his name. Now I said, now the assembly brothers are using titles and the oneness brother are using name. Now I said, now I'm going to prove to you you're both wrong and I'm right. You know how you have to, you have man under strain that way. You have to have a little sense of humor once in a while to kind of unwind them. So I said, I'm going to prove to you that you're both wrong and I'm right. I said, now what if I wanted to regard uh, Brother Ness? I'd say our, our brother Hicks here. See, I'd say um, uh, uh, Hicks. Now, would that sound nice? No. Well, what if I'd say, Doctor? Hey, Doc, what about it? Now, that sounds irreverent, doesn't it? When I said, that's where you assembly, see? When you assembly, brother, say, in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Ghost, you just say, in the name of the reverend doctor. Now, I said, then you won this, brother, when you baptize, you say, Jesus. They don't use, they, Jesus only just use the name Jesus. There's just many Jesuses, but it's the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah. See, there's many baptized in the name of Jesus, so I certainly don't go for that. There's no scripture. You get the original, see if it ain't Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Certainly. He's the Lord Jesus Christ. There's many Jesuses, Amen. certainly. And the Christ is the anointed. Now I said, now if I was going to say the same thing, Brother Nest, I'd say, would it sound right to me? say, hey, Nest. I said, that's what you want us to say it. <laughs> see? Wouldn't that be an irreverent disregard for that man who studied and he's got a doctor's degree? If he studied hard for that, he ought to be titled that. And I said then, if I said, hey, doc, I said, wouldn't that sound flat for a minister to address another one? Or I said, that's just the way that you do it on the side for the title. But I said, when I take a man to the water, I walk up there and ask him and talk and get his name and whoever he is and his faith. Then I pray and say, Now, Father, as Thou hast commissioned us to go into all the world and make disciples of all nations. You, brother, know that's the original thing. Make disciples of all nations, baptizing them into the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe whatever things that Thou hast, all things that Thou hast uh, uh, taught us. So then I said, Upon your confession of faith, Upon your confession of your sins and your faith in the Son of God, I baptize thee, my beloved brother, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, I yeah. said, that's the way I baptize. I both recognize his titles, for he was both Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And the reason Jesus said that was, now, uh, look, if, if that isn't so, you've got a contradiction in your Scripture. That's right. You've got a contradiction. And what are you going to do when, what if this Buddhist brother would rise up and say that? What about this? What did they say when they told me over there when this Indian brother, John Morris Reed had, and said to him, said, what about Mark 16? He had a crawfish on him. You don't have to crawfish on nothing. Amen. That's God's word. Yeah. Yeah. Stay with it. Just pray. Get the revelation. It all runs the same. Amen. See, they're both saying the same. Now, not titles, not flat. I said, now, I recognize him. He was the father, not another God. He was the Son, not another God, the same God. He, it's three offices, God in the fatherhood, dispensation, if you want to call it, of the fatherhood, sonship. It's the same God in us now. I'll be with you. Uh, I, the personal pronoun, I'll be with you. So you see, it's three offices, not three gods. Now, brother, if the disciples never used it and on down, I ain't saying nothing against it. That's all right. I'll tell you, if a man come out here is baptized in the name of the rose of Sharon the Lily Valley and Morning Star and believe Jesus Christ is Savior, I'd say, God bless you, brother. Come on. Amen. Let's go. Amen. That's right. Because if your heart ain't right, you're not right anyhow. Amen. Exactly right. Amen. Your, your heart's got to be right. Amen. And I said, now look, now if I was going to greet Brother Nestor, I'd say the Reverend Dr. Nest. 
That's exactly. He is a minister. He ought to be regarded as a reverend. He has studied and must study. He has a doctor's degree, so he should be called doctor. That's his title. See? And his name is Nest, though. Now, I wouldn't say, Hey, Nest! Hey, Doc! No, that wouldn't be right. I'd say, Reverend Dr. Nest. See, that's what I'm calling. See what he is. Both Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, the Lord Jesus Christ. See? Now, I said... If I ever baptize one out in your all's churches, that's the way I'll baptize him. I said, would you receive him, Brother Ness? He said, certainly. He's been baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. I said, would you receive him, Brother Sism? He said, certainly. He's baptized in Jesus' name. <laughs> then what's the matter with you, brother? Why don't you accept that and break down these walls where these poor human beings are... The one that wants to really, the, the congregations, they want to worship with the assemblies. The assemblies, congregation want to worship with the oneness. And brethren are that way. They are that way, but as long as the devil can make them fight. Now, you see what I mean, brother? I'm driving towards that one thing, Jesus Christ, and the uniting of the body of Jesus Christ. Amen. That's what my purpose is. Now, I don't say nothing about, hey, you ain't baptized in Jesus' name, you're going to hell. Now, that's nonsense. Amen. I'll tell you what happened the other day. I was down in Texas for leaving. And uh, the brethren here are witnesses of this. The Oneness Church. 72 churches sponsored my meeting. And I put Brother Petty, the Assembly of God brother, up on a platform that night. Now, you know that's true. He's a precious brother. Brother Petty, if any of you know him, in Beaumont, Texas. He's one of the finest men I ever met. His wife is a converted Catholic, a real sainted woman. He's a real man of God. Tell me who's a finer man than Roy Weed of the Assemblies of God. Mention any of these men. Look at all these brothers I know around here. Brother uh, uh, from the Ch Philadelphia church here and the Assemblies of God man. And Who's any finer people? Tell me, where tell me who's a finer man than Jack Moore. Tell me that. He's a, what they call, they belong to them. He's not a radical you find radical on both sides. Yes. And that's where the people point. That's where the devil points. Yes. But they're all men of God. God's given the Holy Ghost. Amen. If it wasn't for the grace of God, we'd all be gone. With yes. our yes. 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 That's exactly right. Yes. But the grace of God binds us together. No wonder we can sing, Blessed be the tie that binds our hearts in Christian love. That's what we need. Yes. Man. And so, you know what? The general superintendent over the...
sisi tusimame tunapoanza ibada Zangalia kushoto kulia mwa mkoe ndugu alie karibu na wewe Mwambie karibu nyumbani mwa Bwana asubuhi ya leo Tunapogeukea wimbo uh, namba 4 katika vitabu vyetu vya Kiswahili
nyenyekea mbele zako asubuhi ya leo bwana Yesu Kristo na tumekukimbilia bwana ili tusiweze kuaibika milele ulimwengu unapogeuka dhidi yetu tunajua bwana Yesu Kristo kuwa tuko na mmoja ambaye hawezi kutugeukia marafiki wote wanapotuacha kuna mmoja ambaye atasalia ambayo ni wewe bwana Yesu Kristo Ulizifia dhambi zetu msalabani na huo ulikuwa ni upendo ambao Bwana hauna kipimo. Tunajinye, tunanyenyekea tukijua kuwa Bwana hatustahili 
mengi bwana ambao tumetenda baba na hata kuzaliwa kwetu hapa hatukuwa wenye wanastahili bali ulikufa bwana ili sisi tukaweze kuishi tunaomba na tukiwa na shauku mioyoni mwetu kuwa bwana tukaweze bwana Yesu Kristo kusonga karibu na wewe kila hatua ya maisha yetu ikaweze kudhihirisha kuwa sisi ni wa Kristo kama ayala aonao vio aonao vio kiu mito ya maji ndivyo tunavyo kushaukea asubuhi ya leo bwana tukijua hatujakuja hapa bwana Yesu Kristo kwa shughuli zetu bali tumekuja hapa ili tukaweze kukutana na wewe wacha mapenzi yako yakaweze kutendeka ukikutana na haja za mioyo yetu bwana ili bwana Yesu Kristo tukaweze kulishwa na kunyesha vile bwana umepanga siku ya leo wale ambao bado wangali njiani wanaposafiri kufika hapa ukaweze kuwapa rehema za safari naweka mateka bwana Yesu Kristo roho zote za mwovu shetani ambazo zinaweza itilifiana bwana na mkutano huu katika jina la Yesu Kristo zikaweze kushindwa. Tunakuomba bwana Yesu Kristo ukatusaidie tukawe bwana ndani yako kwa sababu ndani yako ndio ndiko uzima uko peke yake bwana. Vile bwana samaki hana uzima nje ya maji bwana, vile vile hatuna uzima kama tuko nje ya nje yako bwana. Tupe bwana Yesu Kristo subira tukaweze kustahimili dhoruba ya maisha haya tukijua bwana Yesu Kristo ni ya muda tu. Tubariki asubuhi ya leo tunapoanza bwana ibada hii hadi tamati na shughuli zote tunajiweka mikononi mwako ukaweze kuzifanikisha kulingana na mapenzi yako. Naomba haya yote nikiamini katika jina la Yesu Kristo aliye bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yetu. Amina. Bwana wabariki. We turn to song 303. In our English song books Three hundred and three. There is the, your version is different. Can you confirm from the old book? Pardon? Uh, peace, wonderful peace, eh? Oh, 
Fresher out from me in this wonderful peace But let deep in the heart of my soul Say you are the no power can find it away But the years of eternity Coming down from the Father above, sweep over my spirit forever. I pray in the domless middle of the I'm resting tonight in this wonderful place. Rest sweetly in Jesus. by night and by day and his glory is flooding my soul hallelujah peace peace coming down from the father in the garden of Eden when the first two were born in sin now Cain was the seed of the serpent and Abel was the true seed of God it was started in the garden When the first two were born in sea, now came was the seed of the serpent, and Abel was the true seed of God. How can two walk together unless they both? How can two walk together unless they both agree? One believes in Trinity doctrine and the other. 
your seats. God bless you. I'll give the following chance to come and sing for the Lord. The first one, Melody, followed by Sister Faith Owiti. Lastly, I'll give to Sister Elizabeth Ogungo. Come in that order as we give our tithe and offering. Can they not 
see the doom is still, it's all in vain. The end is here.
bless you saints for that singing. There are now announcements here. I'll read to you as they are. God bless you, saints. Uh, all the youth, you are requested to remain behind after the service. And uh, God bless you, saints. Remember me in your prayers as I will be traveling to Mombasa after the service. This is from Brother Eric Mbiti. God bless you, saints. I thank God for good times we've been. We, I thank God for good times we've had together while I was here. God willing, I'll be traveling home. May God's blessings shower upon you as we pray for each other. God bless you till we meet again, Sister Abonyo. 
There's another one here. God bless you. I will be fellowshipping with you here for some time. This is from our brother, from brother David uh, Opodo. And there is a note here. The, the number of chi the, uh, children that were in Sunday school were 54. Five teachers, 13 parents, 31 Bibles. Total offering of 1,830 was collected. Brother David, who put the way you are, kindly stand. And any other visitor, all the visitors who are fellowshipping with us this morning, can you please stand? You can give him a microphone so that he can introduce himself better. Brother Arnold, please. Any other visitor? God bless you. Amen. I'll be fellowshipping here for some time. I'm in town with Brother Arnold, and I'll be fellowshipping here. Thank you. Most welcome. How many don't know him? This is Brother Collins in law. Collins is the brother standing here. That is the flesh brother to our sister Collins. God bless you so much. Uh, I request Brother Spoon kindly come and pray for the offering and even the minister. I want to thank you for the prayers you offered and to my wife. I receive also Christian greetings from her. God healed her and she is okay. We glorify the Lord for everything. Amen. Let's bow our heads and pray. Our most precious Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we bow our heads facing the ground from where in we came. We are particularly grateful, Father, for your grace and mercy. We look back, Father, we lack even enough words to express how grateful we are. We thank you for the week gone by. You've blessed us in various ways, dear Father. And now you've brought us back into this building. But Father, give us grace to realize that we are fellowshipping in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We come before you, Father. We pray that you take the center stage in this place this morning. Thou, the author and the finisher of our faith, you have traveled with your bride. And now, Father, the Omega Bride can say at last, her soul has found a resting place. Thank you, blessed Father, for giving us a place to worship. And no doubt you prepared your servant this morning for the sake of our souls. Lord, we pray that you give your servant the insight of the revelation of your word. Because your servant, the prophet, has taught us where the word is preached, that is where the spirit follows. For the Holy Ghost is the conductor of the word. We pray that you give him more grace to climb higher into the revelation of the word. We want to uh, be led to the greener pastures of the word where Jehovah himself speaks and the bride responds to that word. That is no doubt the only place of worship and that is in Christ Jesus. No doubt he is a man just like we are. And Father, if you take him captive into your hands, and take captive his mind, take captive his thoughts, take captive his lips, he will speak nothing but the oracles of God. That is why as a church we lift your servant before you this morning. And we pray that you scatter away uh, all the forces of darkness. And may the light, the word of God, the revelation of the word made flesh be made plain again in our midst. We thank you for our pastor. 
We pray continually for your special grace upon him and all the officers of the church. Father, we pray for Johnny Masses uh, regarding the request of our brother Mbitsi and uh, them all that are traveling and those who have needs that have not brought before us. We pray, Father, because your eyes are able to see even deeper and your spirit can search the hearts. May you grant all the requests in the hearts this morning according to your riches in glory. Father, as we set to hear your word, come by a fresh Lord and reveal yourself like never before. Take the center stage and lead us to your word. We also pray committing tithes and offerings that your children have given. May they be used for the glory and honor of your name and for furtherance of the gospel. We now commit all things to you, Father, as we invite your presence to continue with us in the blessed name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God bless you so much. They come from the east and west. They come from the land afar. To feast with the king, to dine as his guest. How blessed these pilgrims are, beholding his hallowed face, glowing with light divine, blessed partakers of his grace, as gently his crown to the name of the Lord. I'm very happy this morning for what the Lord has granted to all of us. May I say I'm very thankful for the way God had, has dealt with you. Uh, as I told you, you are going to have uh, ministers meeting from Friday to Saturday. I appealed for your involvement and I'm very grateful that you did that. And we continue. I also requested you to pray for us because I extended my invitation to our guest speaker wangu kwa muduma wetu mkuu na tuhudumia who is a precious brother ambaye ndugu yetu wa thamani the pastor of Kitengela church mchungaji wa kanisa la Kitengela this brother has been very special ndugu amekuwa maalumu sana to us kwetu the way god has used him jinsi vile mungu amemtumia has been very special amekuwa ya maalumu sana in this nation katika taifa hili his stand and his ministry simama kwake na huduma wake has been of great help to all of us kwa msaada kuu sana kwa sisi wote when the winds of uh, doctrines and revivals have been come, blowing around mafundisho uh, mbalimbali zikituzingira uh, god used him mungu alimtumikia uh, to let the bride stand kufanya bibi harusi kusimama on the solid ground katika msingi so our precious brother Stanley Maelo tamani Stanley Maelo you are welcome in this meeting umekaribisha katika mkutano in this church katika kanisa hili if you don't know 
Iwapo haujui this brother when we were starting this church ndugu tulipoanza anzisha ni kanisa at that time he was working here in Kisumu wakati ule alikuwa anafanya kazi hapa Kisumu and that was the very time when the revival was going ambao uvio ilikuwa inakuwa god used him a great deal mungu alim tumia sana not only to establish us sio tu kutuimarisha but uh, establish the believer stand kuamarisha msimamo wa waaminio on the promised word of god katika neno la bwana iliyo haidiwa so i want you to open, just open up your heart nataka mfungie mioyo zenu if we uh, had enough time iwapo tumekuwa na wakati wa kutosha and we called this brother na tumuite huyo ndugu to share with us what ashiriki na has put in his heart. Kila ambacho Mungu ameweka moyoni mwake. I believe naamini we would uh, get away people who are fat in their souls. Tutakuwa watu ambao wame wamenona katika eh, nafsi zao uh, because god uses him a great kwa mungu anamtumikia kwa njia kuu sana but this is just a short time kwa huu ni wakati mfupi sana uh, let us utilize this tuitumie wakati huu uh, to gain a little bit from ili his ministry eh, zaidi kutoka kwake otherwise thank you very much asanteni sana i want to say ningependa kusema that uh, uh, we i wanted us to have a meeting the uh, all the officials that were, were elected here in the church nataka tuwe na mkutano kwa maafisa wote ambao walichaguliwa hapa kanisani we would have had a meeting today tungekuwa na mkutano siku ya leo but we will not have that we will have it next sunday uh, na tutakuwa nao tutakuwa nao jumapili so ija. just rest easy mpumzike tu we will have our meeting next sunday tutakuwa na mkutano huo mkutano jumapili ija kwa maafisa wote ambao walichaguliwa in the church general meeting kwa mkutano wa jumla wa kanisa so just be ready for today we tu tayari kwa siku ya leo i will be just focusing and uh, uh, caring for my my minister my my visa mgeni wangu uh, therefore we will suspend or postpone that meeting to next tutairisha huo mkutano hadi jumapili ujao otherwise god bless you so much bwana wabariki sana as brother uh, will be coming and wetu ajapo when we come to the last stanza kapo wetu wa mwisho wa, wa mwisho wa huu wimbo then just to take over atachukua uskani and continue with the ministry naendelee na huduma let us stand fast tuisimame kwanza we pray tuombe and we can invite our brother alafu tu karibisha ndugu precious heavenly father amani baba yetu wa kibinguni we commit our lives in your hands maisha yetu mkononi mwako asking that you forgive us of all our trespasses makosa zetu zote may you father take preeminence in our lives wewe tangulizi maishani mwetu no doubt we have come here shaka tumekuja mali hapa people that are needy watu ambao wana mahitaji in many ways katika njia mengi and father come na bwana uje and mold us lord the way you wanted it to be unavyotaka tuwe lord bwana if there is anything that is hidden in our hearts kitu ambayo imefichwa shine the gospel light reveal to us the message of this day quicken us by your spirit that heavenly father our coming to church may be a great benefit not only to us but to the other people that will see us living here on earth as we gain the greater height of faith Yaani kuwe we commit our brother in your hands wetu mkononi mwako being a man akiwa binadamu man can fail binadamu anaweza when one is completely surrendered to you alikiwa amejisalimisha kwa ukamilifu wako you use him for your glory tumikia kwa utukufu wako we hear you speaking father we commit him in your hands give him strength give him strength mpenguvu protect him in all ways katika njia zote therefore we know we'll lick that sweet uh Honey, that comes from the Lord. And also enjoy it. Because you have made it. May your will be done. We ask all this. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Fear not little flock. Song number 1. Wimbo number 1. We come to the second stanza. Fikapo beti wa pili. Our brother will be coming. Ndugu wetu atakuja. Fear not little flock from the cross to the throne from death into life. He went for his own.
Precious Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you, we bless you for this opportunity. You have given us, Father, to fellowship around your word. We thank you, Lord, for your mercies, Lord. We thank you for opening our understanding to know you in this dark hour. We bless you for each one of us, Father. The grace you have bestowed upon us. We thank you, Lord, for this congregation. We thank you for your servant, Lord, our brother Hesbon, Lord, for the grace you have given him, Father, to stand with you, Lord, to be a blessing, Father, to the body of Jesus Christ. We thank you for every member here, Lord. We just want to dedicate our lives to you this morning. To come, Lord, to hear your word. None of us is is worthy, Lord. Forgive us from our trespasses. Forgive us from our weaknesses, Lord. Anything we have done contrary to your will, Lord, forgive us, Lord. We commit the service now in your hands. And you will come down, dear Father, and say something, Lord, that will be a blessing to us, Father. We love you, Lord. We worship you, Father. We thank you for all things. We honor your name. As now we commit the word in your hands, the reading of the word, the preaching of the word, everything else, Father, and all the glory, and all the honor, Lord, may it turn to you, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Do you love the Lord Jesus Christ? Amen. Maybe we can just be seated for a second. Amen. 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 Happy to be with you this morning. Uh, to fellowship around his word. Uh, I also like to take this opportunity. Uh, to appreciate your pastor. Uh, our precious brother Hesbon. For the grace he has given him. Uh, you know when you were here. When I was here. Those days of the uh, 90s. Uh, you, are, you, are, you, you used to have a very small fellowship. Uh, to and we can see the grace of God. And there have been a blessing through the ministry of our precious pastor. And we all give all the glory to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm not, a, I'm not a stranger here. I know I'm one of you. We have been meeting in the, in the conventions. Only here, I, I have been here. Only for, I was here sometimes back as I preached here. Amen. Almost 30 years ago. Uh, thank God. <laughs> Some of you are, you are, you are not born. <laughs> uh, you are born. I mean, you, are, you, you have now children also. Uh, so, a lot of what has gone under the bridge. Uh, <laughs> and uh, many things have happened. Uh, but we can only say like Paul. Uh, by the grace of God. Uh, we are what we are. Yeah. So I count this a very great privilege uh, to be among you to fellowship around his work. And you know when you, when, when you are meeting a new people you don't know the subject which is just appropriate. But since we have been together in the conventions I can just maybe continue or revise <laughs> what we have 
gone through. Yale ambayo tumekuwa tukiyatazama. It's a great privilege to me. And I'm trusting that the Lord Jesus Christ. Na mtumai Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo atanisaidia kuwa wa baraka kwenu. We also have got a small congregation in Kitengela. Ah vile vile tunakusanya kidogo kule Kitengela ndugu wetu wa zamani amekuwa huko. I think you be by more than us. Ah ninyi watu mko wengi kutuliko. Kule Kitengela Kitengela is a bit it's about 20 35 kilometers from Nairobi. Kitengela ni kama kilomita 35 kutoka Nairobi. Yeah, that is to us uh, around Athiriba. Ah uh, kuelekea mto Athiriba. That's where I've settled. Hapo ndipo nimekita uh, mizizi. And uh, by the grace of God. Na kwa neema za Mungu. Uh, we came here on Thursday. Ah uh, tulikuja hapa. I came here on Thursday and yesterday, minister, Friday and yesterday. Ah uh, Ijumaa na jana. We are having the minister we are having fellowship with the ministers. Na tumekuwa na ushirika pamoja na wahudumu. Amen. Not without saying too much. Ah uh, pasipo kusema mengi. Let us just stand and read the word. Ah uh, tusome tusimame na tusome neno. Amen. Amen. I would like us to read from uh, 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 John 14. Ah uh, tusome ningependa tusome uh, hapo Yohana 14. Uh, John chapter 14. Uh, Yohana mtakatifu sura ya 14. Uh, let us read from verse uh, verse verse 7. Ah uh, tuanze kusoma tusome pale mstari wa 7. If you had known me you should have known my father also. And from henceforth you know him and have seen him. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father. And it suffices us. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, Philip? Sorry. Jesus said uh, unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet thou hast not known me, Philip? He that has seen me has seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, show us the Father? Believe thou know that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. The works that I do, I, I, I speak unto you. Sorry. Believe thou know that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. The works that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me. He does the works. Yes. Believe thou know that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. Or else believe me for thy work's sake. Say, brother, you can read verse, verse nine up to eleven. Ah, bila sema Yesu akamwambi ya mimi ni mekuwa pa pamoja na ni siku hizi zote we usinijue Filipo. Ah, alie ni ona mimi amemwana baba. Basi we we wasemaje utonyeshe baba. Usadiki akwamba mimi ni ndani ya baba na baba yu ndani yangu. Uh, hayo maneno ni waambiayo mimi siasemi kwa shauri langu lakini baba akae ndani yangu huzifanya kazi zake. Uh, mnisadiki ya kwamba mimi ni ndani ya baba na baba yu ndani yangu uh, yu ndani yangu. La, hamsadiki hivyo. Sadikini uh, kwa sababu ya kazi zenyewe. Amen. And that's also verse 19. Uh, tusome vile vile mstari wa 19. Yet a little while and the world sees me no more but ye see me Because I live, ye shall live also. At that day, ye shall know that I am in, the, in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. Uh, bado kitambo kidogo na ulimwengu hunioni tena, bali ninyi mnaniona. Kwa sababu mimi ni hai, nanyi uh, mtakuwa hai. Siku ile ninyi mtatambua ya kuwa mimi ni ndani ya baba yangu, nanyi ndani yangu nami ndani yenu amen let us pray again our Atu heavenly tena. father baba yetu wa mbinguni in the name of the lord jesus christ katika jina la bwana yesu christo thank you lord for the reading of your word tushukuru kwa usomi wa neno lako na tunakabidhi baada mikono ni mwako lord you take church father ni bwana uchukue sukani inspire me lord na unitie pumzi bwana inspire my brothers and my sisters that we will have fellowship together lord yale ambayo utasema will be a blessing to them ah yatatufaidi we commit the service now in your hands tunakabidhi baada mikono ni mwako Jesus name we pray. Na nikatika jina la Yesu Kristo tuomba. Amen. Amen. We may be seated. Mwaweza keti. Amen. Amen. Eh uh, uh, when why, when we were in uh, in Siaya. Ah uh, tulipokuwa <laughs> kule Siaya. We were speaking on the mystery of the body of Christ. Ah uh, tulikuwa tukinena uh, siri ya mwili wa Kristo. Uh, the union between the bride and the bridegroom. Ah uh, muungano kati ya bibi harusi na bwana harusi. To help harusi. us understand. Ah uh, kutusaidia ili tufahamu uh, uh, the connection. Ah uh, muungano between the restoration back to the face of the fathers. Ah uh, ulioko kati ya kurejeshwa kwa imani ya mababa. That is Malachi 4. Ah uh, huyo ni Malachi 4. And also the coming down of the headstone. 
na vile vile kushuka kwa ile jiwe ile kichwani and that is the revelation 10 na hiyo ni ufungu so can help us as believers of this message ah, ili tusaidie kama waumini wa huu ujumbe to understand what the prophet or what god has sent to us ah, kufahamu kile ambacho Mungu ameleta kwetu through the ministry of his servant the prophet ah, kupitia huduma ya mtumishi wake nabii and so we take a little bit on this scripture ah, hivyo basi tuliguzia kidogo maandiko haya uh, and the, the scripture of john 14:20 ah, yohana 14:20 and that's what will be my thought na hilo ndilo litakuwa wazo langu the mystery uh, siri of this message ya huu jumbe, or of this of this of, of john 14:20 uh, au ya yohana 14:20 which jesus said ambalo yesu alisema at that day katika siku hiyo you will know uh, mtajua that i am in the father uh, kama mimi ni ndani ya baba and the father in me uh, na baba ndani yangu and ye in me uh, na nanyi ndani yangu and i in you nami ndani yenu and that's what that the scripture will like us to expound on ah uh, hilo ndilo andiko ambalo ningependa tuitazame kwa pana the grace of God. Kwa neema za Mungu. Uh, it is it is it is it is very it is it, naturally it becomes hard to understand. Uh, I in so, you. Uh, mimi ndani yenu. And you in me. Nanyi ndani yangu. As I as I and my father were one. Ah uh, jinsi mimi na baba tu mmoja. At that day. Ah uh, katika siku hiyo. And then the prophet has told us. Na nabii ametuambia. That day. Ah uh, siku hiyo is this day. Ni siku hii. Is that amen? That this scripture will be fulfilled. Ah uh, ambapo andiko hili litatimia. And that's what I want to dwell on. Uh, na hilo ndilo ningependa nitazame. The mystery. Ah uh, kuta ku, ku, kuelewa ile siri. Between Christ. Ah uh, kati ya Kristo. Or the union between the body Christ. Au uh, muungano kati ya mwili Kristo. And the head called the Father. Ah uh, na uh, jiwe la kichwani aliye baba. And so that mystery and uh, siri hiyo uh, according to the prophet, according to the, 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 the Jesus himself uh, kulingana na Yesu Kristo mwenyewe they come a day akutakutokea uh, siku the way he and the father wa one ah uh, jinsi ye na baba walikuwa mmoja eh rugama day also atatokea siku vile vile when him ambapo yeye and the bride na bibi harusi or and the church au na kanisa will be one watakuwa kitu kimoja so the mystery of the oneness ah uh, kwa hivyo ni siri ya ule umoja that's what i want to speak of uh, hilo ndilo ningependa nikuzungumzie between the god and his church ah uh, kati ya mungu na kanisa lake bwana wetu asifiwe sana amen so this mystery of oneness ah uh, siri hii ya umoja to help us understand ah uh, ili tusaidie tu If you understand who is Jesus Christ first. Ah, lazima tuelewe kwanza Yesu Kristo ni nani. Now Jesus ah, Yesu was born by the word. Alizaliwa kwa neno. The angel came to Mary. Ah, malaika alimjia Maria. And he said you have found favor before the Lord. Akasema ah, umepata kibali machoni pa Mungu. And uh, that which will be born in you. Na hilo litakacho uh, will be the child kwa kwa. of the Holy Ghost. Ah, itakuwa mwana wa Roho Mtakatifu. Or the child of the word. Ah, mwana wa neno. So the body of Jesus. Ah, kwa hivyo mwili wa Yesu We are talking about that physical body. Atunaniana kuhusu mwili ule. The body of Jesus. Ah uh, mwili wa Yesu was not just the body. Haikuwa tu mwili like any other. Ah uh, kama kingine kile. It was the body that came from the word. Ah uh, ilikuwa ni mwili uliotokana na neno. It was created ah uh, iliumbwa by the word. Ah uh, kwa neno. So Jesus the body. Ah uh, kwa hivyo Yesu mwili was the word. Alikuwa ndiye neno. He was not like Adam. Hakuwa kama Adamu. You remember when we said we we read a scripture. Ah uh, wakumbuka tulipo kwa siya tulisoma andiko. Like Adam. Ah uh, kwamba Adamu in the book of Genesis. Ah uh, katika kitabu cha mwanzo. Eh uh, eh uh, uh, Adam came from dust. Ah uh, Adamu alitoa katika mavumbi eh uh, in, in, in genesis chapter 1 uh, katika uh, mwanzo sura ya kwanza the, far, the, the spirit uh, the, the spirit uh, the, the spiritual adam uh, adam wa kiroho came from god alitoka kwa mungu that is genesis chapter 1 uh, verse 26 and 27 ah uh, hiyo ni mwanzo 1:26 na 27 verse 26 says uh, 26 alisema and god said Mungu akasema Let us make man in our own image. Anatufanye mtu kwa mfano wetu. After our likeness. Ah kwa sura yetu. Verse 27. Isina so seven. God created man. Ah Mungu akaumba mtu in his own image. Ah kwa mfano wake. In the image of God created he him. Ah kwa mfano wa Mungu alimuumba. Male and female created he them. Mwanamume na mwanamke aliwaumba. So that was a spiritual Adam. Ah huyu alikuwa ni Adamu wa kiroho. Or Adam of the spirit. Ah au Adamu wa roho. He came from the God. Alitokana na Mungu. So he was the word. Ah kwa hivyo alikuwa neno. Is that amen? Ah je, hiyo ni amina? Because God is kwa, the word. Kwa kuwa Mungu ni neno. So Adam of Genesis uh, Adamu wa mwanzo 27 created in the image of God. Aliumbwa katika sura ya Mungu. Look at the word created. Tazama neno hilo aliumbwa. Eh sikuumbwa eh ya. Eh kuumbwa ndio lakini sikuumbwa ni to create 
is there's nothing there. <laughs> and you speak. Alineno. And it appears. <laughs> that is creation, isn't it? Uh, but to, to kuumba, ni kutukua kitu na naumba. I mean, to create, uh, to, to kuumba ni kutoka, kutoka from something. Uh, to take from something and to make another. Another one. So, the first Adam, uh, kwevo, Adam wa kwanza, was created. Ali, uh, 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 ali nenwa. Yes, akawepo. Yeah, yeah akawepo. Akanenwa, akawepo. Tuko pamoja. Amen. But the Adam of Genesis 2:7 uh, Adam wa was not the saba. one who was formed. Alikuwa yule ndiye aliyeumbwa au kufinyangwa. So, so the body of Adam, akwevo mwili wa Adamu came from the ground. Ah uh, ulitokana na mavumbi. Let us read it again. Let us read 2:7. Tusome tena 2:7. And the Lord God formed the man out of the dust of the earth. Ah uh, Bwana Mungu akamfanya mtu kwa mavumbi ya ardhi. And breathed into his nostrils. Akapuliza pua uh, pumzi ya uhai. The, the Lord does us, does us that then when God formed the body of Adam out of the dust of the ground then he took the Adam of 126 and 27 who had been created the spirit man and he put him in the Adam of flesh so the Adam of flesh was formed Aliumbwa. from the ground kwa he mavumbi. was dust Alikuwa mavumbi. and Adam of 126, 127 was not dust he was the soul man Alikuwa ni mtu he was the theophany Alikuwa wa he came from the world is that a man? but the flesh of Adam, wa Adam was formed from the ground na so there's a difference kuna between the first Adam Akati Adam wa kwanza and the second Adam, Adam wa pili. Jesus Christ Yesu is that a man? Jesus was not formed a Yesu he was created a akawepo. Adam was formed Adam wa only his soul which was created. If we are together there, say amen. It's good to, so because I want to define the body of Christ to understand John 14, 14 20. So the second Adam who was formed out of the dust of the ground then God breathed into him in no the way we say or God now took the Adam of 126 and put him in the Adam of flesh and Adam now became a living soul are we together there? so the second Adam which is now I'm talking about now the flesh the flesh of Adam, Adam came from the dust. Even when God, when they sinned against God, and Adam was cast, Adam he was cast. Adam was cast Adam was cast. He was cast. Uh, how uh, 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 or after the curse uh, kulaniwa, the God said like this in Adam chapter 3. Uh, Mungu sorry, in Genesis mwanzo, chapter 3. Uh, sorry. Mwanzo tatu. Eh, eh, verse 19. Wa in the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread. Uh, kwa jashu la uso wako utakula chakula Till thou return unto the ground For out of it was, was thou taken Now listen uh, for, thou, for thou uh, for, for, for thus thou art and thus thou shalt return. Are you together there? So the Adam, the, the Adam was created in, in Eden. Adam He was. He went into dust. So he saw corruption. His body was corrupt. Uh, was destroyed. Ah, it went back to the dust. Ah, Is that a man? Because it was formed. Ah, kwa kuwa but the second Adam, Bali Adam wapili, Jesus Christ, ah, Yesu Christo, was the spoken word. He was the word. Yeye ndio neno. And God said, alisema, if you look at in the book of in the, in the book of Psalms, ah, katika kitabu cha Zaburi, eh, chapter, chapter 16, verse 10, ah, mstari wa sita, David prophesied and said, uh, Genesis, uh, that is the book of, of, of Psalms. 
We want to define the body of Adam and Jesus so that we, 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 then when we come to our body we will understand this mystery of I in you you are in me as I and my father were one. That's where, our, that's where we are going. Uh, let us go to Psalms chapter, uh, chapter 16 verse 10 I'm sorry, Wakumi. Uh, it says like this. Uh, For thou wilt not leave thy soul in hell. That is, that is Jesus Christ. Uh, who is Jesus Christ? Uh, 16. Uh, 16. Uh, uh, mana, chia kuzimu nafsi yako. Neither Mamu. wilt thou suffer thy holy one to see corruption. Now here it was not talking about David. Because Daudi. the body of David died. And he became dust. So the body of David saw corruption. But he was not talking of David. It was a prophecy. He was talking about Jesus Christ. So the body of Jesus Christ. Was came from the word. So it never saw corruption. So we can say the first Adam, Adam wakwanza, the, 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 the first Adam, Adam wakwanza, came from the dust. The second Adam, Adam wapili, came from the world. The second Adam, Adam wapili, came from heaven. So the body of Jesus was the world. Let us go in the book of First Corinthians. Uh, That's what I want us to establish. If uh, we, to understand the mystery of the two bodies. Uh, because our message, our understanding our message uh, is understanding that there are two bodies. Uh, and there are those two bodies uh, of the world uh, yaneno, unite together. Uh, yana ungana pamoja. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we see here in the book of in the book of in the book of uh, Corinthians. Ah, uh, katika kitabu cha wa Corintho. Let us go to Corinthians chapter 15. Ah, uh, twende katika wa Corintho wow. sura ya 15. That is first Corinthians 15. Uh, wa Corintho wa kwanza uh, 15. With the scripture we normally read. I used I used never to understand to understand it. Ah, uh, niandiko ambayo tuliyosoma siku ya naelewa. It became clear the other day. Ah, uh, bali ilikuwa wazi siku ile nyingine. Now let us look at verse Verse, verse 45. 45, yeah. 45. And so it is written. And if you live and the first Adam, um, to the Adam, first man Adam, um, to Adam was made a living soul. The last Adam, Adam Mwisho, Jesus Christ, uh, Jesus was Christo, made a quickening spirit. Happy that it was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural. And the other one, that which is spiritual. Which is Jesus Christ. Eh? The first man that is Adam is of the, of the earth. Why he came from the ground. Is that a man? The second man is the Lord from heaven. Are you seeing that? So the first body of Adam was earthy. It came from the earth. So it is so corruption. The second body of Jesus Christ was the world. It came from heaven. It never saw corruption. Hallelujah. It was put in the grave. And the prophet says corruption sets in within the seventh Two hours. Or after 72 hours. So God could not allow. He's the holy one. The body of the one. To see corruption. <laughs> so before the three days were over. Within those three days. I it was almost one and a half days. Because Jesus died on Friday evening. At the three o'clock. He went in the he was put in the grave until Sunday morning. Uh, so that is about 36, almost less than 36 hours. Uh, because from 3 o'clock up to 3 o'clock the following day, uh, which is Saturday, it's one day. Yuma, then from Satisa to the morning, uh, it's, about, it's, about, it's, about, it's about 15 or 16 days. Uh, so we realize here, the body of Jesus Christ uh, was not in the grave for, for the 8 
au zile uh, au kwa kaburini kwa miaka uh, kwa masaa masa, 48 hours it was less than 48 hours ilikuwa ni so na kwa allow his holy body uh, mungu angeruhusu mwili wake mtakatifu was so the body of Jesus kwa hivyo mwili wa Yesu was the word ulikuwa ni mwili neno and the word cannot see corruption na neno hawezi kuona uharibifu are you seeing the mystery eh, we yona you so now the body of Jesus ah, sasa mwili wa Yesu was the word ah, ulikuwa ndiye neno when this body Jesus was baptized on river Jordan ah, Yesu alipobatizwa katika mto Yordani he was the word alikuwa ndiye neno and the word na neno the headship ah, ile jio la kichwani holy ghost ah, came to the word alimjia neno so the word the body jesus ah uh, mwili neno yesu and the word na neno the headship ah uh, jiwe la kichwani came ah uh, ilishuka to the word uh, kwa keneno the body ah uh, ule mwili uh, as i was as i and my father are one ah uh, jinsi mimi na baba tu mmoja him yeye and the father uh, na baba wa wa walikuwa kitu kimoja neno na neno linakuja pamoja uh, the word and the word comes together are you going there Tuko pamoja pale. Katika siku hiyo. Mtajua. Kwa mimi ndani ya baba. Baba ndani yangu. Nami ndani yenu. Jesus was the one. Yesu alikuwa ndiye neno. Alitoka kutoka kwa neno. The headship was the one. Kichwa alikuwa ndiye neno. He was the one. Alikuwa ndiye neno. And the word. Na neno. Which he created. Aliyeumba. He came. Yeye alishuka. Akudumu katika neno. The word became into the word. Ah neno likaja katika neno. The mystery of oneness. Ah ni si ya ule umoja. Are we together there? Ah je tuko pamoja pale? Bwana asifiwe sana. So the so, so the first Adam. Adam wa kwanza. Sister like, give us the message called thingy. No 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 no. The, uh, the identified masterpiece. Ah uh, tupatie ujumbe uh, kipeo kilichotambulika. Eh uh, ulijua 64 uh, ulio bila identified masterpiece. Mwaka wa 64 kitambulisho kilichotambulika. 12, 12 I think it's 1205. Ah ni 12, 05, uh, let us read slide to some here. Thank you. Slide 133. Now we let us go. And when he made his first masterpiece. Na alipoitengeneza kipeo chake cha kwanza. That was Adam. Is that a man? Alikuwa ni Adam. When he made his first masterpiece. Alipoitengeneza kipeo chake cha kwanza. He put it behind the wall. Alimweka nyuma ya neno. Because he was not the word. Ah kwani hakuwa neno. So he was put behind the wall. Kwa hivyo aliwekwa nyuma ya neno. But when he made his second masterpiece. Abali alipoitengeneza kipeo chake cha pili Yesu Kristo He was the one Yeye alikuwa ndiye neno Amen Amina He was the one Alikuwa ndiye neno Not behind the word Asio katika kibichi wa neno Bali yeye alikuwa ndiye neno Hallelujah Hallelujah You see the mystery Aje wa yonea siri He is first the masterpiece Ah kama kipeo chake cha kwanza Adam Adam was not the one hakuwa neno he was put behind the wall aliwekwa katika uongozi wa neno alitoka katika mavumbu in him was the soul ndani mwake kulikuwa nafsi which came from god iliyotoka na mungu adam himself bali adam mwenyewe came from the dust alitokana na mavumbu he was formed aliumbwa not created so he was put neno. behind the wall ah, kwa hivyo aliwekwa katika uongozi wa neno when he came the second masterpiece ilipofika katika kipeo chake oh, he kipeo. was the immaculate born son of god alikuwa ni mwana wa mungu aliyezaliwa kipeo He was the one. Alikuwa ndiye neno. He was the perfect masterpiece. Alikuwa ndiye kipeo kamili. That's why his blood. Ndipo sadamu yake. He came our sacrifice. Ah ikafanyika adhabu yetu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It was the blood of the one. Ah ilikuwa ni damu ya neno. And it told us that the Bible says. Na bila sema. And we are saved. Na tuna tumeokolewa. The blood of God himself. Kwa damu ya Mungu mwenyewe. Amen. Amen. It was not the blood of a man. Haikuwa damu ya mwanadamu. It was the blood of God. Ah ilikuwa ni damu ya Mungu. So the body of Jesus. Ah, kwevo, mwili wa Yesu. Was the body of the one. Ah, ulikuwa ni mwili wa neno. He was the one. Yeye alikuwa ndiye neno. Are we together there? Aje tuko pamoja pale. Now let us go to 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 prove that a little bit. Ah, to thibitisha. Read a few quotes concerning that. Ah, to some nuku so chache kuzuri. Be able to eh 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 to 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 come to our thought. Ah, ili kuzuri kwa 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 to part one to part one of our pamphlets ah uh, sehemu ya kwanza ya of our slides um, uh, ya ya vipande vyetu eh uh, let's go to uh, we went through down this quote sometimes back
Uh, and let's go to, to slide. Peter. To slide 441. Uh, I want us to understand this mystery. So that when you come now, the ministry, the mystery uh, of the bride and the bridegroom, Malachi 4 and Revelation 10, uh, we will have an understanding. I want us to guide that. If you guide that, uh, all these other things will be Because easy. I came to realize uh, that uh, is a tricky uh, part of uniting, uh, of understanding Malachi 4 and Revelation uh, 10. Uh, Are we together there? This was the word. Uh, we can say this is Malachi 4. Uh, <laughs> That's the bride. Eh? <laughs> this is the word. Uh, that is the body of God. Uh, eh? The word, the word uh, and the neno. word come together. Uh, neno na neno At that day. As uh, the word. Uh, neno. Jesus the flesh. Uh, yesu mwili. And the word. Uh, na the headship was one. Uh, At moja. that day. Uh, I will have another brother, another body. Uh, na Not the body of flesh. Uh, sio mwili wa nyama. But now the mystery to the body of Jesus Christ. Uh, bali mwili wa siri wa Yesu Kristo. You are born again. Uh, umezaliwa tena. You are saved. Uh, Umeokolewa. You are the one. Uh, Wewe ndiye neno. He is the one. Yeye ndiye neno. I am the one. Mimi ni neno. In India there's a brother with who is the one. Ah uh, pale India kuna mtu ndiye neno. The one. Neno ndiye neno. The word makes the mystical body of Christ. Ah uh, neno hilo linafanya mwili wa siri wa bwana. Then come the head stone. Uh, Akisha panatokea jiwe la kichwa. Kukuungana na neno. The word coming to the uh, word. Neno likijia neno. I'm going ahead of my thumb on. Uh, but so that you understand where I'm going. Uh, Are we together there? Uh, now listen closely. Uh, 5 point 1. But he brought it because the woman being in the fall, there came, then there came forth. Uh, bali, uh, kwa kuwa, the okay, I'm going to show you there. Then there came forth. Uh, basi katokea, the immaculate son of the living God. Uh, mwana alisi wakipeke wa mungu alie hai. Created. Alie umbwa. Are you together there? Uh, so pali. Jesus was not formed. Uh, Samani, Yesu haku umbwa. Alinenu, alinenu. Akawe. There was no blood of Mary there. Haku kwa na damu ya Maria pale. There was no egg there of Mary. Haku kwa na yai la Maria. There was no nothing of Mary. Haku kwa na lolote la Maria. He came from the world. Alitoka na neno. God created a cell. A mungu alifanya chembe. And that cell was the cell of the world. Na chembe hilo lilikuwa ni chembe la neno. There is 16 elements of the earth. A hijapo kuwa kuna viembe kumina sita vya ulimwengu. Like you and me. A jisi but he was not formed. He was the one. Are you following? There came the came from the immaculate son of the living God. Pale baka tokea mwana wa mungu wakipeke. Created. Alie fanywa neno. We are back in bone. Alie zaliwa kwa bikira. Now listen, both the body. Ule mwili. And the soul. Na nafsi. Why did David say? Mbona Daudi ya kasema? I will not see my holy one to see corruption. Sita mruhusu mtakatifu wangu waone waribifu. Tumesuma katika kitabu cha sound. Is that a man? I will not see my holy one see corruption. Uh, my holy, my holy one to see corruption. Uh, May the Lord live his soul in hell. Uh, na sacha nafsi yake David said that. Mkoni. Daudi alisema hapo. So see both soul. Ah kwa hivyo waona nafsi, body, mwili, and spirit na roho of Jesus Christ. Ya Yesu Kristo. Was created of God. Ah aliumbwa na Mungu. Ah yeah. Ah kwake na yeye mwenyewe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kiswahili inakosa neno la kuumba. Yaani alinenwa katika alinenwa na neno. <laughs> Alikuwa use the word and he was spoken. Eh, alinenwa akawepo. Ah, yeah. And alinenwa akawepo. Amen. That's the right word. <laughs> Aino nenu na kusayini pale. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Alinenwa akawepo. Ah, he was spoken into existence. He was not formed. Eh, he was not created. Haku, ah, haku. Hallelujah. Alinenwa na akawako. Amen. So, mwili wa Yesu. Ah, the body of Jesus. The na, na, na nafsi ya Yesu. Ah, roo ya Yesu. And the spirit of, of Jesus. Ah, and uh, na roo ya Yesu. And his both so. Body uh, and spirit nasi, na roo, were created of God uh, na mungu, by Him. Nae mwenyewe. The woman was not a mother. Uh, yule mama. It was a woman. Uh, I believe she was good, a holy woman. Uh, na she had not been he, absolutely. Akika. Or else she had never been an incubator. Ata hivyo, haange kuwa God could not have never chosen not that incubator. Uh, mungu, haange chagua chafu. Lord willing, I'm bringing it on her tonight. But uh, what is that? What is an old, old, old that incubator? Uh, to bring uh, his, uh, uh, to bring his son to the earth. 
kuleta mwanae ulimbeguni alimchagua bikira knowing not a man asiyemjua mwanae that she have any sperm discharge hata hapa hakupata tokeo la shahawa ah bali kingine kile ila roho mtakatifu overshadowed her ah ile alimfunika kwa kuwa mungu in his immaculate infinite way katika njia yake ya kipekee created in her aliumba nani mwake nasi mwili na roho of jesus christ ya yesu kristo that is right hiyo ni sahihi he was a begin born son of god alikuwa ni mwana wa mungu aliyezaliwa na bikira hallelujah hallelujah you know i never used to understand hawajua siku naelewa jambo hili nabii anaposema the blood cell of jesus was broken Uh, wakati chembe damu ya Yesu ilipovunjwa it released god uh, ilimwachilia mungu it released the holy ghost uh, ilimwachilia roho mtakatifu iliwachilia ile shara we are not born by the blood of a man hatujazaliwa uh, kwa damu ya mwanadamu by the blood of the one uh, tumezaliwa kwa damu ya neno he is the one kwani yeye ni neno he become the bleeding one uh, tunakuwa neno linalovunja the bible says nipo sababu ya sema we are washed uh, na tumetakaswa by the washing of the water by the one uh, kutakaswa kwa ma- aji ya neno haleluya haleluya the word of god ah, kwa neno la the blood of jesus christ adamu ya yesu kristo ah, linatutakasa the blood of jesus adamu ya yesu came from the word ah, ilitokana na neno haleluya haleluya we can see that from the 36 ah, tunaweza kuona hiyo kutoka kwa muhuri wa 3 haleluya haleluya we 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 on the 36 that is on page uh, on, on 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 that is that is from uh, 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 slide it starts from slide 545 ah uh, ni kipande cha 545 start from slide 547 ah uh, tuanzie 547 amen as the mystery is eh ndio hapo naiona siri wa semeni amina if you see that mystery au uh, ukiona hiyo siri it will help us understand the other deeper one ah uh, itatusaidia tuelewe ile 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 ya kilindi to 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 get it clear ah uh, nikipenda tuione uh, wazee 547 uh, ah 547 no the blood was of the blood of was of bulls and and sheep and goats and other testament things ah uh, hiyo ni damu ya kale kale take away her sins ah uh, bali damu hiyo ya mafaali na kondoo haikuondoa damu ya kale but sin ah uh, bali ilifunika tu dhambi but it only covered her sins ah uh, ilifunika tu dhambi zake it didn't take it away at all it covered it ah uh, ilifunika but it was an animal's blood ah uh, kwani ilikuwa ni damu ya mnyama and in the animal's blood na katika damu ya mnyama is animal life kuna uhai wa mnyama it was a substitute ah uh, ilikuwa kibadala and hadi the real ile halisi now the prophet says nabi asema now oh, get your coats on your spiritual coats ah uh, sasa muweze kuvaa kabuti zenu za kiroho mmevaa nyote pamoja kama umevaa say amen kama ume uko katika kabuti lako la kiroho ni substitute and deal ah uh, uh, ilikuwa ni kibadala the hadi real human blood ah uh, damu ile halisi ya mwanadamu as a human beings will be ah uh, kama wanadamu jinsi wangekuwa became in connect ah uh, ilifanyika mwili god Mungu without sex ah, bila kujuana kimwili virgin ah, bikira the virgin kutalio, birth produced ah, the dust ah, uzao wa bikira uliweza kutoa hiyo listen this one now god's word sasa neno la mungu promised iliahidi became blood ah, ilifanyika mwili and was incarnate na ikafanyika mwili in person katika mtu huyo yesu kristo i want i expected you to say amen <laughs> ah, ningetarajia mseme amina Haleluya. Haleluya. Tujaraliwa na damu ya binadamu. Uh, we were not uh, damu ya yote. Yote. the blood of the human being. blood of the one. Ah uh, bali ilikuwa ni damu ya neno. Ho oh, na hizo dada shouted they say amen. Uh, Nilipo na hiyo nilipiga mayo ile kasema amen. Ah uh, kwamba tumetakaswa kwa damu. You are and God forever. Ah uh, dhambi zangu zinatokomea kabisa. Ah uh, tujaraliwa kwa damu ya binadamu. Blood of the one. Bali ni damu ya neno. Haleluya. Haleluya. Let me read it again. Ah nani isome tena? God's word 110. Ah, sasa neno la Mungu. We are 548 110. Ah 110. Eh, let us go back 110. Ah, Now God's word. Ah sasa neno la Mungu. Promise. Ailiahidi became blood. Ah ikawa damu. Ikafanyika damu. Ah samani ikafanyika damu. And was incarnated. Ah na ikafanyika mwili in the person. Ah katika mtu huyo. Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo. The savior. Ah yule mokozi So what was in the blood? Ah nini liokuwa ndani ya damu? The word. Ah ile neno. What was in Christ? Ah nini liokuwa ndani ya Kristo? The blood. Damu. What was the blood? Ah damu ilikuwa nini? It was the word. Ah ilikuwa ni neno. God spoke the word. Ah Mungu alinena neno. And the blood cell was formed in the womb of Mary. Na chembe hilo likatengenezwa katika tumbo la uzazi wa Maria. So it was cell upon cell. Ah ilikuwa ni chembe juu ya chembe juu ya chembe. It was the word upon the word. Ilikuwa ni neno juu ya neno juu ya neno. 
about the world, it formed the body of Jesus Christ. Basi kaumba mwili wa Yesu Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he saw. Uh, Naye aliona. Na, and he saw. Nafsi yake. Na nafsi yake. Also came from the world. Uh, vile vile ilitoka na And his spirit. Na roho yake. Was also the world. Uh, vile vile ilikuwa nene. Remember as Jesus Christ. Ah uh, kama neno gile Yesu Christ. Like your soul. Alikuwa kama nafsi yake. He was about his but him. Uh, bali yeye. The body you are born here. Ah uh, mwili wako hapa. Came from the dust from your mother and father akutoka kwa mama yako na baba yako hiyo ni amina your spirit roho yako came from the spirit of the world alitokana na roho ya ulimwengu but your soul bali nafsi yako you born again umezaliwa upya we are now the body of the bride sasa mwili wa bibi harusi it is not the outer body sio mwili wa nje or your spirit au roho yako but it is your soul bali ni nafsi yako because when you die kwani ukifa your body is not born again a mwili wako hauzaliwa mara mbili the dust inaenda katika mavuno roho yako is not converted haijabadilishwa ni roho ya ulimwengu inaenda bahari popote ilitoka amen ngine ilikuwa spirit ya wajaluo another one was for the new spirits ngine ilikuwa ya wakwenu kwenu bondo another one came from bondo ngine ilikuwa ya ukenya another one came from ugenya ngine ilikuwa ya bukusu uko kwetu another one came from the bukusu ngine ilitoka ilitoka the spirit ya wao it is the spirit of the world and you still have it with you na bado iko nayo na kusumbua sana amen it uses your mind ah uh, inatumia nia yako au mbongo wako bali ndani mwa ndani you are born by the word ah uh, umezaliwa kwa neno hallelujah hallelujah and you being the word na wewe ukiwa neno having the word ah uh, ukiwa na neno another brother the word ndugu mwingine neno we now form another body ah uh, tunaomba mwili mwingine exactly mwili like the body of jesus christ uh, hasa kama mwili wa yesu christo au uh, itwao mwili wa neno and then jesus kisha Yesu the body of the world, uh, mwili wa neno when he was baptized alipobatizwa neno the fullness of the god had body au uh, kimilifu wa huko katika mwili uh, ulishuka kudumu katika mwili and the voice say na na uh, sauti kasema this is my beloved son ah uh, huyu ni mwanangu ni mpendani this is my holy body ah uh, huyu hii ndio mwili wangu mtakatifu this is the word body ah uh, huyu ndio mwili neno i am blessed anafurahia to unite with her a kuungana naye so the body of jesus a kwa hivyo mwili wa yesu alipobatizwa katika mto yordani he was not baptized hakubatizwa eh, to be born again a, ili azaliwe mara ya pili he was already the spoken word a, tayari alikuwa ni neno lilo neno hilo ni amina but yet that body a, bali mwili ule and the head na kichwa and god na mungu united uh, that god may have the full preeminence uh, ili mungu awe na utangulizi and so jesus and god uh, ili yesu na mungu uh, wakawa neno and wakawa jesus mwani. was a prisoner uh, na yesu alikuwa mfungwa of that god in, of that god in him uh, wa mungu huyo aliyenda nyake and he said the son will do nothing hadi akasema mwana atatenda lolote and he said the father doing hadi amuone baba akitenda why kwa nini he was the one alikuwa ndiye neno God the father na neno baba aliishi ndani mwake na neno na neno the body of jesus christ we call it the body of god tunaita mwili wa mungu hallelujah the complete body of god a mwili mkamilifu wa mungu and inside that na ndani mwake there are two bodies kuna mwili miwili or when you see jesus sorry ukimwona yesu christo there are two bodies kuna mwili miwili the outer body kuna mwili wa nje which is also got the the soul ambao pia una nafsi and also the spirit na pia roho na ndani mwake kuna mwili mwingine the father ah uh, yule baba and the father is a spirit ah uh, na baba ni roho hallelujah hallelujah you, you, you went through god so you understand uh, tulipitia hayo kwa hivyo tunalewa are you with me say amen uh, kama mko nami msemeni amina so the body of jesus christ ah uh, kwa hivyo mwili wa yesu kristo uh, was the body of the word ah uh, ulikuwa mwili neno and when the blood cell was broken ah uh, na uh, uh, chembe hiyo ya damu ilipo ya damu ilipovunjika eh uh, it released god also the uh, holy spirit uh, ilimwachilia mungu pia roho mtakatifu Let us just push on a little bit on that thought. Ah, uh, tuende kidogo katika wazo hilo. Let us go to 556. Ah, 556. Let us go to 555. Uh, uh, when he went out of the water what does have the papa said he said i saw heavens open uh, akasema niliona mbingu zimefunguka the prophet 
John saw it. Yohana, and he saw the heavens open. And here come descending out of heaven. Na hapa pakatokea, akishuka kutoka mbinguni. Are you with me there? Je, tuko nami pamoja pale? Do you see the word there? Ah, uh, waiona neno pale? The body of Christ. Ah, uh, mwili wa Kristo. And yet another thing descended from heaven. Na kingine pia ilishuka kutoka mbinguni. He is God himself like a dove, the Holy Ghost. Ambani mwili Mungu mwenyewe katika umbo la ua. Not to be, not to come and, and make him to be born again. Ah, uh, sio kumfanya azalie mwili. He was so ready the spoken seed body. Ah, tayari alikuwa ni mwili neno mbegu ile neno. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he came descending out of heaven. Alishuka kutoka mbinguni. Avamba vada. Katika umbo la ua. And the voice said. Na sauti kasema. This is my part of the earth. Ah, hii ni sehemu yangu ya udongo. That I have redeemed. Ambalo nimeikomboa. And from this part of the earth. Na kutoka kwa sehemu hii ya udongo. I have redeemed the rest of it. Ah, nitakomboa mengine yale. This is you and me. Hiyo ni huyo. This is my word. Ah, kwani yeye ndio neno langu. Made manifest. Aliyedhihirishwa. And oh world. Na ulimwengu mzima. I spoke into existence. Ah, nilinena ikawepo. By my word. Ah, kwa neno langu. And Satan has held it all this time. Ah, na shetani ameishikilia muda huo. But I have come. Bali nimekuja. To redeem it. Ili nikombowe. So much of this earth. Ah, kiasi kwamba ya ulimwengu. Has made his body. Ah, umetengeneza mwili wake. I am coming. Na naja. To dwell in it. Ah, ili niishi ndani yake. John said. Yohana sema. I saw a holy city. Ah, niliona mji wa Yerusalemu. Aliyevigwa kwa mumeo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 313 uh, down there. He was uh, paragraph I mean. Uh, 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 Jesus uh, uh, was part of the earth. Uh, Yesu alikuwa ni sehemu ya the ya Holy umen. Ghost. Uh, descended a bone. Ah, uh, Roho Mtakatifu alishuka juu yake. That Jesus was part of the earth. Ah, uh, Yesu alikuwa sehemu ya udongo that the Holy Ghost ambaye Roho Mtakatifu descended a bone. Alishuka juu yake. Is that right? Hiyo ni sawa. And remained upon him. Na alibakia juu yake. Forever. Milele. He did never can leave him. Haiwezi kumwacha. He is always there. Ah, uh, daima ipo. He and God are one. Yeye na Mungu wako kitu kimuniki mmoja. Can you see that one is now? Haiweza uh, kuona moja huo mystery ah uh, of siri, the one in us uh, hallelujah hallelujah and at that day na kwa siku hiyo unajua kwamba mimi na babangu tu mmoja he was the word alikuwa ndiye neno and the word na neno the father baba came to the word akaija neno the body mwili jesus christ yesu christ and the word na neno na neno from the complete body Tengeneza neno mwili mkamilifu. Mwili mkamilifu wa Mungu mwenyewe. Uh, of the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A perfect body. Ah uh, mwili mkamilifu. Do put this together. Ah uh, mwili miwili. Forming a perfect body. Yakitengeneza mwili mkamilifu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh we love the word. Ah uh, tuipenda neno. We love the we, we thank God for uh, the word. Tunamshukuru Mungu kwa neno. Amen. Amen. It never left him. Haikumuondoka kama. Think of it. Waza jambo hilo. 560. Think of it. Awaza jambo hilo. The Holy Ghost descending upon us. Ah, Roho Mtakatifu akishuka juu ya ulimwengu. Jesus. Yesu. Because he was a redeemed earth. Ah, kwa kuwa ulikuwa ni ulimwengu uliokokolewa. Oh, ya dunia iliyokoka. Mungu akaisnena katika uokofu. Ah, God spoke it into salvation. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nikakuwa neno la neno gao alikuwa mwili wa dunia. Ah, because dunia yenyewe Haikuwa imeokoka. Uh, the earth was still sinful uh, but the God took a portion of the earth. And the creator and, uh, and, and God came to redeem the earth. Uh, na Mungu akaja katika ulimwengu uliokombolewa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Jesus Kwa hivyo Yesu uh, uh, the holy blood. Ah uh, damu ile takatifu. And I hope I don't go don't go don't go too deep for you. Na natumai nisiende kilindini sana. The uh, holy uh, blood. Ah uh, damu takatifu. That was created by God. Ah uh, iliyoumbwa na Mungu. The blood. Ile damu the life ile uhai the creation of god au umbaji wa mungu jesus was the beginning yesu alikuwa ndiye mwanzo of the creation of god wa umbaji wa mungu oh you see it waiona hallelujah hallelujah one day brother ah siku moja ndugu if you bury me in the ground ah ukini zingo mgoni he will speak the trumpet of the lord shall sound ah para pande ya bwana itapigwa ah there will be another creation again na kutakuwa na umbaji mwingine tena na nitafufuka more than now as a man born of a woman ah sio kama mwanamme aliyezaliwa kwa mwanamke 
la 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 na utaungana na mwili wako wa kibiguni kukutana na Bwana hewani. Oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have not lost any of your elements. Haujapoteza viambi vyako vyote. Kama kibara iko hapa iko tu bahari. Hata kama kuna kipara. Hallelujah. Ungali utakuepo. Ah ukiona nime niko na kunyanzi bado mimi ni kijana mahali pa. Nikifa siku moja nitasikia sauti yake. Na nitakufuka katika maumbile mengine tena. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I will unite with my body. Na nitaungana na mwili wangu. Mwili wa kibiguni. Na niende nikutane na Bwana hewani. Jesus Christ himself. Yesu Kristo mwenyewe hakupitia mchakato huo. Alizaliwa neno lilo neno. Alikuwa ndiye neno. Mwili ulikuwa neno. Nafsi ilikuwa neno. Roho ilikuwa neno. Yeye alikuwa neno. Kisha neno ikamjia neno. Baba neno kichwa haikaja kwa mwili Yesu Kristo na wawili wakawa moja. A great mystery. Ni siri kubwa. The prophet says this great mystery is the same oneness that will come at the end of time. Jesus prayed. Yes, Lord. In the book of John, chapter three, verse seventeen. Ah, 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 chapter three, John 17 let us look at verse 17 there um Yohana uh, uh, sura ya 17 no, no, uh, 17 Amen Sanctify them through thy truth. Watakase kwa ile kweli Thy word is the truth. Neno lako ndilo kweli. As thou hast sent me. Kama vile ulivyonituma mimi. In the world. Ulimwenguni. I don't think it's that one. I think it should be verse three. And this is the life eternal that thou might know thee the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou friend. I have glorified thee on the on the earth and I have finished my work. And now Father. Uh, where is that oneness? That they may be one as I and you are one. Uh, so I didn't five, mark it well. Five. Verse five. Eleven. Thank you, sister. Thank you. And now I am no more in the world. But these are in the world. And I come to thee. And keep them through thy own name. Uh, kuwatunza katika jina lako ambao umenipa mimi they may be one ili wao moja uh, jinsi tulivyo haleluya haleluya then the prophet says in the message of oneness uh, katika ujumbe wa umoja ule umoja uh, give us six, uh, slide 16 and uh, tupatie kipande cha 16 haleluya haleluya uh, oneness 16 uh, kipande cha 16 Uh, the prophet says when his prayer will be answered nabia sema maombi haya atakapokuwa yanajibiwa oneness is 62 uh, umoja ni 62 mwaka wa 62 uh, i think I, i i wrote it down there oneness ndika pale amen amen uh, 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 you love the lord jesus christ uh, mwampenda bwana yesu kristo the message of oneness 62 uh, ujumbe wa umoja mwaka wa 62 think you be Amen. Just a second, we'll get it. Uh, uh, the message one is thank you. Seventeen. Paragraph uh, uh, slide seventeen. Uh, kipande cha kumina saba. Uh, oh, sorry. The, the message of uh, the tab oneness. Thank you. Thank you, sister. Uh, Santo Dada. Now Jesus. Ah, uh, sasa Yesu. Uh, uh, is it can it be? Is it possible to project it? Thank you. Uh, uh, Now Jesus prayed in John the 17th chapter. Yes, you are the one who prayed the Do you who put it down? This and the text. I have many of them uh, this morning. Ah, ni na wengi wao asubuhi ya leo. Eh eh. Well, down there. Uh -huh. Yes, John uh, Jesus prayed that the church 
and he will be what like he and the father were one a yesu aliomba kwamba kanisa naye liwe moja jinsi yeye na baba wa mmoja that the church kwamba kanisa we as members of the body of christ a sisi kama washiriki wa mwili wa kristo will be one together atue moja just like his a jinsi yeye just like he, just uh, sometimes I, I, I get lost when you push it up uh, uh, just like he and the father are one uh, jinsi yeye na baba uh, wako moja are we together there je tuko moja and at that day na katika siku hiyo now we are back to our past uh, we will know atajua that he was in the father at, alikuwa ndani ya baba father in him baba ndani mwake and he in us naye ndani yetu and together na pamoja we were one atue uh, kitu kimoja oh what a union uh, jamani ni muungano jinsi gani what a oneness uh, ni umoja jinsi gani we be see god uh, na Mungu in his church katika kanisa lake every member hadi kila mshiriki so perfectly eh, awe katika ukamilifu so perfectly uh, awe katika in harmony uh, katika masikilizano uh, moja kwa mingine na Mungu that is the church uh, hilo ndilo kanisa Jesus ambalo Yesu anakujia that is when uh, hapo ndipo his prayer uh, ombi lake will be answered uh, alitajibiwa we, we will be one sisi tutakuwa moja and we can say na tunaweza sema this day uh, siku hii the prayer of Jesus uh, ombi la Yesu is uh, inajibiwa <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like the way him and the father were one. Ajisi ye na baba walikuwa mmoja. They will come at time. Pata tokea wakati. When they will be a word body church. Baba pata kuwa na kanisa mwili neno. And when that word body church is restored. Na kanisa hilo mwili neno inakoreshwa. They will be the headship. Pata kuwa na kichwa. The father. Baba. The word. Neno. Coming to unite with that body. Akija kuungana na mwili huo. Na mwili. And him. Na yeye. Will be what? Watakuwa mmoja. Na baba. Jesus. Na yeye Jinsi walivyokuwa mmoja. Haleluya. Haleluya. Do you see two things there? Aje muone mambo mawili pale. Bodies, Kuna mili miwili. Which are what bodies? Ambalo ni mili neno. Haleluya. Haleluya. We can say. Tunaweza sema. The word neno unites. Inaungana with the word. Na neno. <laughs> The bride the bridegroom word ah uh, bwana harusi neno unites anaungana with the bride word ah uh, na bibi harusi neno uh, kutengeneza the complete perfect body of Jesus Christ ah uh, mwili mkamilifu wa Yesu Kristo haleluya haleluya him the word ah uh, yeye neno and the father na baba wa wa alikuwa moja and he made the complete body na kutengeneza mwili mkamilifu of the father wa baba but now bali sasa another body mwili mwingine the bride ah uh, bibi harusi the body ah uh, mwili and the word na neno Jesus Christ Yesu Kristo become one ah uh, inakuwa moja to make a complete body ah uh, kutengeneza mwili mkamilifu Christ. Wa Yesu Kristo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Which we call the perfect body. Ambalo tunaiita mwili kamilifu. If we, if we are with me there. Ah uh, kama uko na ile pale. Then doing very badly. Ah uh, basi atuendelee vibaya sana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't want to go to more quotes on that. Ah uh, sitaki niende katika nuku nyingi tu kwa hiyo. Ah nimeo. So is it this great mystery? Ah kwa hivyo waona siri kubwa. At that day katika siku hiyo mimi ni baba ah mimi ni baba baba ndani yangu mimi ndani yenu and you in me ah nanyi ndani yangu so this great mystery ah siri kubwa is what we are talking about ah ndilo tunanena kuhusu so there are two bodies ah kwa hivyo kuna mili miwili haleluya haleluya there were two bodies in the beginning ah kulikuwa na mili miwili pale mwanzo jesus was baptized yesu alipobatizwa haleluya haleluya there was a body jesus ah kulikuwa na mwili yesu then another body na mwili mwingine kole wa uitwao neno kemda ah kashuka chini neno united au kaungana with the word na neno are we together there yeye tuko pamoja pale then when jesus died akisha yesu alipokufa i just broke that i just move from another face when jesus died Yesu alipokufa on his side ah, katika ubavu wake he was pierced alidungwa and blood na damu and water na maji came out yakatokea is that amen yeye ni amina and on the day of pentecost na katika siku ya pentecost was a body kulikuwa na mwili called the body of the bride au itwao mwili wa bibi harusi it was formed on the day of pentecost au uliumbwa katika siku ya pentecost it was the pure body of the word au ilikuwa ni mwili msafi wa neno because it came from the word kwa kuwa ilitokana na neno is that amen yeye ni amina he was the word alikuwa ni neno kanisa la kwanza was the word ilikuwa neno we have gone through those quotes tumepitia ndugu hizo i don't want us to go through them asaki tupitie he, he, the church was the word kanisa ilikuwa neno now the men they remain in part sasa sehemu inayosalia 
other part ilikuwa ni sehemu ile nyingine called the headship uitwa kishwa the word ah uh, ile neno to come and unite with the word ah uh, kushuka na kuungana na neno the two bodies to unite ah uh, mili miwili ungane but before the union took place ah uh, bali kabla ya muungano kutukia that body fell ah uh, mwili huo ukaanguka and then share cancer katika baraza la nikea Do you see do you, do you are you with me there? Aje tuko pamoja pale. So the child that was born on the day of Pentecost. Kwa hivyo kanisa iliyozaliwa katika siku ya Pentecost. Came from the word. Ilitokana na neno. It was the word body. Ilikuwa ni mwili neno. Are we together there? Aje tuko pamoja pale. But before it was united. Ah bali kabla ya kuunganishwa with Jesus the, the, the headship. Na Yesu Kristo aliye jiwe la kichwani. She fell. Alianguka. But God promised. Bali Mungu aliahidi. I will restore. Ah, ah, mimi nitarejesha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us read one or two quotes. Uh, so understand. perfect body. Uh, ili tuelewe kwamba mwili huo kamilifu. Ulio siku ya Pentecost. Was the real body. Ulikuwa ndio mwili halisi. Of the bride. Uh, wa bibi harusi. Jesus Christ. Uh, Yesu Kristo. And so the, the body of Christ. Na mwili wa Kristo. Which was the, 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 that was born on the day of Pentecost. Uh, ulio katika siku ya Pentecost. It was supposed to, to unite. Ah uh, ulipaswa kuunganishwa. With this oneness. Na umoja huu. But before uh, the oneness took place ah uh, bali kabla umoja huo kutukia she fell alianguka but before we go to that ah uh, bali kabla tuende hiyo uh, 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 yeah, uh, let us but uh, uh, yes let us go to that first uh, so that that we read one or two that. quotes ili tusome nuku moja au miwili before we we come to this one ah uh, kabla tuijie hii nyingi hallelujah hallelujah if you are with me say amen uh, kama tumko pamoja sema amen hallelujah hallelujah i think we are not doing badly Uh, so, so let us look at a few quotes on uh, that. Tutazame nuku chache kuhusu hiyo. To show that the body, the, the, the body of the bride. Ah uh, kuonyesha hapa kwamba mwili wa bibi harusi was here ulikuwa hapa on the day of Pentecost. Ah uh, katika siku ya Pentecost. So that now that's why that body uh, ndipo sasa mwili huo which fell uh, ulioanguka must be restored. Ah uh, lazima lirejeshwe mahali pake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then when it is restored ah uh, kwa hivyo inaporejeshwa that is the right the body ah uh, huo ni mwili wa bibi harusi then there's another body uh, kisha kuna mwili mwingine the head is uh, kichwa then the two unite together uh, basi wawili wanaungana pamoja ah uh, we together there je tuko pamoja let us go to page let us go to part 2 ah uh, tuende katika uh, uh, se, kitabu sehemu ya pili now uh, sasa when jesus died ah uh, yesu alipokuwa now as he started in an abraham Ah uh, jinsi alivyosema alianza uh, ah uh, jinsi alivyoanza katika Ibrahimu oh sorry 97 part 2 97 sister sorry i'm moving very fast Eh uh, 97. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Now, uh, sasa, as he started in the Abraham, uh, jinsi alivyoanza na Ibrahim, of the first masterpiece. Uh, baada ya kuanguka katika kipeo cha kwanza, in the Abraham on a foundation. Alianza na Ibrahim katika msingi. To build the second Adam. Uh, kujenga tena Adamu ya pili. That is another masterpiece. Uh, hicho ni kipeo kingine. And this second masterpiece. Uh, na kipeo hicho cha pili was now the spoken word. Alikuwa sasa ni neno lililo He was not like the first one. Hakuwa kama yule wa kwanza. Was formed and put behind the word. Uh, yule aliyeumbwa na kuwekwa katika But utawala wa Neno. Bali huyu was the word. Alikuwa ndiye neno. Is that amen? Ye yule amina. The same way. Ah uh, jinsi vile. 98 alianza katika siku ya Pentecost to build another masterpiece. Kujenga kipeo kingine. That is the woman. Huyo ni mwanamke. The original seed. Mbegu ya asili. The word. Neno. Started in the first church. Lilianza katika kanisa la kwanza. What was it? Ilikuwa nini? The seed word. Ah ile mbegu neno. Are you with me there? Ndio tuko pamoja pale. I want us to get very clear there. Anaita nataka tuipate vizuri. This body of Jesus. Ah mwili huo Yesu. It was born on the born day of Pentecost. Ulio zaliwa katika siku ya Pentecost. The word body. Ah ulikuwa mwili Neno. Or the bride body au mwili wa bibi harusi um, are you with me there aje tuko pamoja pale the seed word ah uh, mbegu the neno manifest uh, neno the promise that been given ahadi uh, iliyokuwa imepeana she does it ah uh, yeye alisema ah uh, itatukia katika siku za mwisho let us go to 100 ah uh, twende katika 100 tambua it is started out as the original ilianza pale kama lile la asili as it is said jinsi yesu alivyosema the word of god is a seed ah uh, neno la mungu ni mbegu so so. ambaye mpanzi alipata and he was the sower Naye alikuwa ndiye mpanzi. And the seed was the word. Ah, mbegu ilikuwa ndio neno. And not any seed that abides alone. Ah, kila mbegu idumuwe peke yake. Never them does nothing. Aliwezi kufanya lolote. It got to fall in the ground. Ah, ni lazima yanguke mchangani. It is reproduction. Ili iwe na mazao mengi. And this seed. Na mbegu hii. The first church. Are we together? Ya kwanza, tuko pale. This seed. Na mbegu hii. That perfect church. Kanisa hilo kamilifu. Fell to the ground. Ah, ilianguka mchangani. And Nikea council. Ah, katika baraza la Nikea. When she became a denomination. Ah, alipofanyika dhehebu. 
Now the church died. Ah, kanisa likafa. One or two. The church ah, died and they are Ah, kanisa ah, ilikufa pale katika baraza la Mikeo. When you talk and Greeks. Ilipochukua kanisa imani ya Kredo badala ya neno la asili. So is it now? Watu wana sasa. God had shown Ah uh, Mungu alikuwa ameonyesha by that first church uh, kwa kanisa hilo la kwanza that he was God kwamba yeye alikuwa Mungu I will meet there uh, tukomba He had a church perfected alikuwa na kanisa iliyokamilika but the church bali kanisa like all other seeds uh, kama mbegu zingine zozote zile fall in the ground uh, lazima yanguke mchangani and die uh, na ife now it fell in the ground uh, ilianguka mchangani and died ikafa and wasted away uh, na ikakauka it died in the church ages ah uh, ilikufa mzazi vya giza ah katika uchafu ule ule mchangani the dirt in in america means soil in the dark in the dark soil ah katika mchanga they thought it was gone you know walidhani kwamba imekwisha jesus said yesu alisema the corn of wheat falls in the ground ah isipokuwa punje la ngano yanguke mchangani it abides alone inadumu vile vile and the first church na kanisa la kwanza was that reproduction ah ulikuwa ndio kuzidika kule that bride bibi harusi yule begu ile the word was made manifest neno lilifanyika dhahiri in the ground lilianguka mchangani at nicea rome katika baraza la nikea kule rome hallelujah hallelujah Let us continue. Listen, John. Throughout the nations that all hear this. Ah, uh, katika mataifa yote na mnaosikia. There is your dad. Ah, uh, hapo lipo mchanga. In yeah. them denominations. Katika madhehebu yote. That's where the word was crucified. Hapo ndipo neno lilisulubishwa. And they accepted a dogma. Na wakakubali kanuni ya imani. For hundreds and hundreds of years. Ah, uh, kisha kwa miaka na miaka ya mamia. Ya giza. The power and manifestation of the word. Ah uh, nguvu na madhirisho ya neno. Was hid from the world. Ah uh, ilipot ilifichwa kwa kutoka kwa Only Catholicism rule. Ah uh, na Wakatoliki ndio litawala. We know that as reading history. Ah uh, tunajua hiyo katika historia. Only Catholicism rule. Ah uh, Wakatoliki tu ndio uliotawala. But you can't hide. Haleluya. Uh, Bali uwezi kuificha. Ah uh, mbegu iliyofanyika iliyofanyika mwili. Iliyo na uhai. Iliyo na uhai. Haleluya. Haleluya. Uwezi 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 but the hide mbegu iliyo na uhai you cannot hide a jam type hii mbegu hii ah uh, yesu ilikuwa na uhai ah uh, jesus christ uh, alikuwa na uhai ah uh, wakati alikufa uh, when he died hakuona corruption i uh, did not uh, rot he, he rose up again ah uh, uh, alifuka tena haleluya haleluya and the first church na kanisa la kwanza was also the seed of church uh, ilikuwa pia mbegu kanisa the insect, kanisa the insect ate it Ah, mabu ya liila. Ah, mdudu au mabu yale ya liila. The locust ate it. Ah, the caterpillar ate it. The kangaroo ate it. All oh, the nominations ate it. Madhabebu yote ya kaila. But life went in the roots. Ah, bali <laughs> uhai ukashuka mizizini. Haleluya. Haleluya. It did not die. Haikufa. In the reformation. Katika marekebisho. Ah, we restore. Ika What was God doing? Mungu alikuwa kile He was storing the body the bride. Alikuwa akirejesha mwili bibi harusi. Are we are together there? Yes, pamoja pale. So it was a chamatized seed. Ah kwa hivyo ilikuwa ni mbegu ile na uhai. Not see corruption. Haingeweza kuona uhai. Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo. Alikuwa ndiye neno. He could not see corruption. Haingeweza kuona uhai. He rose from the dead. Alifuka kutoka ufu. And God started. Na Mungu akaanza with the reformers. Ah na wale warekebishaji. Luther. Luther. Wesley. Wesley. And Pentecost. Na Pentecost to restore that church. Akurejesha kanisa hilo. And he says in Malachi 4. Na anasema katika Malaki 4. Uh, tazama. I will send you like the prophet. Tawapelekeni Elia nabii. And turn the house of the children. Na atazigeuza mioyo ya watoto. To that body again. Kuelekea uwe mwili wetu. To tena. that church again. Iwe kanisa hilo tena. The pride tree. Ah uh, mwili wa Mirusi. Must be restored again. Uh, lazima lirejeshwe tena. She was a bride tree. Alikuwa mtu wa bibi harusi. And she must be restored. Na lazima arejeshwe. Haleluya. Haleluya. But Jesus Bali Yesu was not just a body. Hakuwa tu mwili. He also he needed alichaji vile vile another head akishwa kingine the food of the god that body awetoa utimilifu wa kuungana naye so that the him and the father ili ye na baba be one wale kitu kimoja and that bright church na kanisa la bibi harusi huyo missing that Ah uh, lilikuwa linakosa hilo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It missed the headship. Ah uh, lilikosa lile kitu. That's why it fell. Ndiposa ilianguka. It missed the fullness of the God that bodily. Ilikosa utimilifu wa Mungu katika hili. It missed the bride groom tree. Au uh, ilikosa mti wa bwana harusi. Because the bride tree. Ah uh, kwa kuwa mwitu wa bibi harusi. Without the bride groom tree. Ah uh, bila mti wa bwana harusi. Can do nothing. Aliwezi fanya lolote. 
So it fell. But God promised. I will restore. If you say amen. Then when the seals were revealed. Now the other part of the body. Came down. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh glory to God. Uh, I want us to read a quote, sister. Uh, I want us to read a quote from thinking my filter. Uh, kutoa kwa chujio la mtu mwenye busara. Uh, 34. Uh, 34. Amen. I'm following say amen. I want us to see how Malachi 4 uh, malaki brings in the body anaingiza mwili the way it was on the day of Pentecost. Uh, kwa siku ya but, but again, uh, bali tena, for it now to be fully, completely redeemed, uh, ili kombolewe kikamilifu, it must form the complete body of Christ. Uh, lazima itengeneze mwili mkamilifu wa Christo. The complete body na mwili mkamilifu must have the female uh, and male. Lazima iwe na jisi ya kike the body, na kiumu. Uh, the body of the word lazima iwe na mwili wa neno uniting with the body of the word. Ikiungana na mwili wa neno. The head and the body must uh, unite. Kichwa na mwili shake. The body and the head uh, united. Now there is another body. The first church has been resurrected again. Uh, I will restore. Uh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why we preach what Paul preached. Is that a man? The way we are baptized. Uh, the way we believe. Everything else. Is kile. what was there in the first church. Uh, ni yote yale but but God is the rock. Uh, ya mwamba huu. Upon that foundation. Uh, ya msingu huu. God build a church. Uh, Mungu alijenga kanisa. Amen. Are we together? Jetu kwa pamoja. Now this one is now is now the other party, the uh, other party appearing. Ah uh, sasa hii ni ile sehemu nyingine sasa ikitokeleze. Listen closely. Ah uh, then let us go. Kisha hapo baadaye. When we got through. Ah uh, tulipofikia pale. The sermon and went out to west. Ah uh, tukatoka tukaenda magharibi. That is in Arizona. Ah uh, hiyo ni kule Arizona. And when the end so the Lord na wakati malaika wa Bwana appeared out there ah walitokea pale nje for the seven seals ah kwa ajili ya miuri zile saba and they went up into the air ah na wakaenda juu ya wani we have have the picture of it here ambalo tuna picha yake hapa this one here hili hapa are we together there ah je tuko pamoja hapo i feel like removing rais kana kwamba niondoe hallelujah hallelujah thank you this it's, it's okay, brother. Uh, <laughs> we, we understand it. Uh, I want us now to see uh, now the mystery uh, siri of the body, ya mwili, the fullness of the heart, uh, uh, coming now uh, to another body, kwa mwili mingine, the bride. Bibiarusi. To fulfill John 14, 20. Uh, and now, Na sasa, we have the picture of it here. Uh, and over the country. Uh, na tai, kati ya lote, and here in Kisumu. Hapa Kisumu on the pulpit here in the front uh, here. Hapa mbele, there he was standing there. Hali alikuwa still pale, wicked. Uh, akiwa angali na ile shela yake. I, I go now touch back. He is still wicked. Uh, akiwa na shela yake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Still wicked. Akiwa na shela yake. Na mamlaka yale kamilifu. Who is he? Yeye ni nani? Are we together there? Kwa pamoja pale. He is the head of the church. Ah yeye ndiye kichwa cha kanisa. Is that a man? Ah yeye ni amina. He is the head of the body. Yeye ndiye kichwa cha mwili. Which body? Mwili upi? There is another body. Na mwili mwingine. Oh the bride. Uitwa bibi harusi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is the head of the church. Yeye ndiye kichwa cha mwili. He is the body head of the body. There is nothing like him. Hakuna chochote kama yeye. Popote. He made all things for himself. He made all things for himself. Alijiumbia vyote yeye mwenyewe. Without him. Hata pasipo yeye. Nothing man. Hapana popote bali bombwa. Ambali ni. Who is he? Yeye ni nani? John 1:1. Moja moja. He the beginning. Pale mwanzo. Alikuwa neno. And the neno. Alikuwa na Mungu. And the neno. Alikuwa kwa Mungu na pasipo yeye hakuna kilicho ubwa kilicho wa ubwa na yeye ndiye kiumbe cha kwanza cha ubwa wote Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is the supreme authority. Ah, ye ndiye mamlaka kamilifu. He has all the authority. Ana mamlaka yote. In the heavens. Mbinguni. And in earth. Hata ulimwenguni. And everything. Na kila kitu belongs to him. Ni vyake. And in him. Na ndani mwake. Ah, unadumu. Utimilifu. Of the Godhead bodily. Wa uungu katika mwili. And the word. Na neno. And he was one. Naye alikuwa kitu kimoja. He was sorry, and he was the word. Naye alikuwa neno. Sorry, he was the one. Alikuwa neno. And no. And he was the one 
Ana alikuwa ndiye. Who revealed and their secret? Aliyefunua siri hiyo nzima. So let me repeat it again. And the word was God. Ana neno alikuwa Mungu. And was made flesh among us. Na alifanyika mwili miongoni mwetu. Na alikuwa ndiye. Who revealed and their secret? Aliyefunua siri nzima. Oh plan of redemption. Ana mpango wote wa kokoo. Oh the prophets. Ambaye manabii wote. And the wise men. Na wale hekima awalinena habari zake. He alone. Yeye peke yake. Was that weak to one. Alikuwa ndiye yule aliyeviko shela. And the supreme authority. Na alikuwa ndiye mwenye mamlaka kamili. Who is it? Yeye ni nani? He the head of the body. Yeye ndiye mkishwa cha mwili. The child kanisa haleluya and the mystery of the message now na siri ya ujumbe sasa ni mili miwili must now unite again lazima shati ziungane tena so at that day kwa hivyo katika siku hiyo mtajua i am in the father mimi nina ni baba baba na ni yangu and the mystery is revealed na siri inapofunuliwa kisha wewe na ni yangu na mimi in you ndani yenu Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many see that say? Ani wangapo naona hiyo sema amina. You see mystery of the resurrection? Amnaona siri ya urejesho? Is there any body here direct? No. Je, kuna kibao hapa ili tuandikie? No, no, it's okay brother. It's okay. We don't know if it is not there, we don't need it. Kama kuna tuita. We can just explain. Tunaweza tukueleza. So you see now the mystery. Awaona sasa siri. John 14:20 Yohana 14:20 was not fulfilled on the day of Pentecost. Haikutimia siku ya Pentecost. Are we together there? Je, tuko pamoja pale? Why? Kwa nini? There was only one portion of the body. Ah, kulikuwa tuna sehemu moja ya mwili. Which was the bride body. Ah, uliokuwa mwili wa bibi harusi. Are you listening? Je, mwasikiliza? Why are you not saying amen? Ah, mbona basi mbona msisemeni? Are we together there? Ah, je, tuko pamoja pale? There was only one body. Ah, kulikuwa na mwili moja tu. But pastor it's okay we can ah, proceed. Ah mtukaji ni sawa tunaweza kuendelea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know behind there you may not see. Ah pengine kule nyuma msione. So the mystery here. Ah kwa hivyo siri hapa there must be two bodies. Ah lazima pae na mili miwili. Like the body of of of, of the body. Ah, we see here there was a body. Hapa kulikuwa na mwili of Christ. Ah wa Kristo. We draw the wa. Ambao walikuwa ni neno. And then united akisha uh, ukaungana with another body uh, na mwili mwingine which was the headstone which was the head ambao ulikuwa ndiye kichwa which is Christ which is God himself ambaye ni Mungu mwenyewe the word a uh, neno and now this one na sasa huyu together made the complete uh, pamoja uh, wakatengeneza the complete perfect body a uh, mwili uh, mkamilifu ulio mzima of God. Wa Mungu. Are we together there? Yeye tuko pamoja pale. So that so there are two bodies. Ah kwa hivyo kuna mili miwili. The body of Christ the word. Mwili wa Kristo neno. When he was baptized. Alipobatizwa. United. Aliungana. With the body of the head. Na mwili wa kichwa. Which was the word. Wa ambaye alikuwa ndiye neno. How many see that say amen? Wakati wa sema amina. On the day of Pentecost. Ah siku ya Pentecost. God created another body. A Mungu aliumba mwili mwingine. Call. Awitwao the bride body. A mwili wa bibi harusi. The bride body. A mwili wa bibi harusi. Which came from the word. A uliotokana na neno. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. But lakini the head, a bali kichwa, the uh, the other part of the body. A sehemu hiyo nyingine ya mwili. I think my 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 wino when you nanga meisha. It's okay brother. Try try this one. But the what the 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 the, the head ah uh, bali kichwa but thank you brother but the head bali uh, ile kichwa which is also the word ambalo vile vile ni neno was missing ah uh, ulikuwa unakosea ama ulikuwa hauko hauko so ah uh, kwa hivyo john 14:20 ah uh, yohana mtakatifu 14:20 was not fulfilled haikutimia was not fulfilled. Ah, I could hear. Are we together there? Je, tuko pamoja pale? But here, bali hapa, John 14:20 was fulfilled. Ah, Yohana 14:20 ilitimia. And that day you will know. Katika siku hiyo mtajua. That I and my father are. Mimi na baba tu mmoja. Do you believe I am in the Father? Ah, naamini uko ndani ya Baba. And the Father in me. Na baba ndani yangu. If you don't believe that. Ai wapo waamini. Believe me for the work's sake. Ni niamini kwa kazi zile. I and my father are. Kwani mimi na baba tu mmoja. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And at that day. Na katika siku hiyo. I and my father are. Jinsi mimi na baba yangu tu mmoja. My body. Ah mwili wangu. And the head body. Na mwili wa kichwa. Wako ni kitu kimoja. The word and the word. Neno na 
maneno wanaungana pamoja the complete body of god ah kufanya mwili mkamilifu wa Mungu is that amen je hilo ni amen so here john 20 was fulfilled hapa yohana 14:20 litimia bali on the day of pentecost bali siku ya pentecost it will be fulfilled haingeweza kutimizwa the head word ah kwa kuwa kichwa neno was missing ah ulikuwa haupo what was here ah kilichokuwa hapa in the bright body ah ulikuwa ni mwili wa bibi harusi the bright tree ambao tunaita mti wa bibi harusi Ah we got there. Je, tuko pamoja pale? Na mtu wa bibi harusi. Without the bride groom. Ah bila bwana harusi. Can understand. Haiwezi kusimama. Haleluya. <laughs> Haleluya. So it went under. Ah kwa hivyo ilianguka. But it was a seed. Ah bali ilikuwa mbegu. Because it was a bright one. Ah kwa kwa ilikuwa ni bibi harusi ne. It was charmatized seed. Ah ilikuwa ni mbegu yenye uhai. Because it was a word of God. Ah ilikuwa ni mbegu safi ya Mungu. Ah ilikuwa inakosea. Ah ile kichwa. Does it match? Uh, wanza jambo hilo. Jesus Christ was the one. Ah uh, Yesu Kristo alikuwa ndiye neno. For this that years. Ah uh, miaka yote 30. We don't know where he was. Hatujui <laughs> alikuwa wapi. We only see him in uh, the temple. Tunamwona tu hekaluni. At 12 years. Akuwa na miaka 12. Ah uh, kando na hayo. He was never known. Hakujulikani. And yet he was the one. Na ile hali alikuwa ndiye neno. Is that amen? Yeye yeah, ni amina. But when the Holy Ghost came on him. Bali ronda katifu alipomkimbia. Oh, the river Jordan. Uh, Ale Mtoni Yordani. Haleluya. He went in the desert. Alienda jangwani. The devil met him. Ah ibilisi akatana. It is written. Ah imeandikwa. He said it is written. Akasema imeandikwa. It is written. Imeandikwa. It is written. Imeandikwa. It is written. Imeandikwa. It is written. Imeandikwa. Shetani alikuwa ameshika waya. Ah the devil had touched the waya. I vote. Ah ya alisema alikutana na wengine akawangusha. He met others and met them for. Abraham akaanguka. Uh, uh, he met Abraham and he fell. Uh, he met with others akaanguka. Uh, wengine aliwangusha. He met the real one. Uh, bali akilio alipokutana yule mwenyewe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He and the father wa wa. Uh, yeye na baba walikuwa mmoja. Shetani alipigwa manyoyo. Ah uh, devil ah uh, his feathers were ruffled and he fell. Alikuwa neno. Yeye na baba walikuwa moja. And the son can do nothing. Alisema mwana hawezi kufanya lolote. Isipokuwa aone kile baba afanye. Kwani mimi na baba tu mmoja. If you have seen me you have seen the father. Ah ukiniona umemwona baba. But now this body, body of, of, the, of the bride tree on the open the cross. Basi sasa mwili huu wa mtu wa bibi harusi katika siku ya Pentecoste. Haingetimiza Yohana 14:20. Because the father the fullness of the word. Ah kwa kuwa baba utimilifu wa neno. Was not yet revealed. Ah hakuwa amefunuliwa. It was still sealed. Ah ilikuwa imetiwa muhuri. With seven seals. Ah na miuri saba. Are we together there? Je, tuko pamoja pale? Are we together? Can we proceed? Ah tunaweza kuendelea? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So now when you come to the church ages. Ah tukifika katika vizazi vya makanisa. In the dark ages. Ah katika vizazi vya giza. When this body went down. Ah mwili huu ulipoanguka in the dark ages ah uh, katika vizazi vya giza the life only went in the roots ah uh, why ukaingia mizizi both bodies ah uh, mili yote hii miwili both the the bride both the body bride ah uh, mwili bibi harusi the body bride ah uh, mwili huu bibi harusi and the bride groom ah uh, na bwana harusi and the bride groom body ah uh, na mwili wa bwana harusi were not mature Ah uh, hayakuwa yamekomaa. We are not mature. They were the first of all, the bride body was mixed. Ah uh, bibi mwili wa bibi harusi ulikuwa umechangamana. And so they could not the, the, the bride body were not mature. Ah uh, hayakuwa uh, yamekomaa. Are we together there? Ah uh, je tuko So John 14:20 Ah uh, Yohana 14:20 was not fulfilled. Haingetimia. For a thousand years. Ah uh, kwa miaka 1000 in the dark ages. Ah uh, ilikuwa katika vizazi vya giza. Because it went, it went down at Nikea Council. Uh, Iliingia chini kat, ilianguka katika baraza la Nikea. We can say for almost 1200 years. Ah uh, tunaweza kusema yapata miaka 1200. And you now came the time of the reformation. Ada ikafika wakati wa marekebisho. And God said Na Mungu akasema I will restore. Ah uh, mimi nitarejesha. Well, you know Akwa hivyo hapa life was just in the roots. Ah uhai ulikuwa mizizini. And uh, but the dad jamata I see. Ah bali mbegu hiyo iliyokuwa na uhai could not die. Haingeweza <laughs> kufa. God promise a restoration. Ah, Mungu aliahidi urejesho. And at the time of Luther. Ah na wakati wa Luther restoration started. Ah urejesho ulianza. But no but not yet fully re- restored. Ah bali haikurejeshwa kamilifu. The bride was badly restored. Ah bibi harusi alirejeshwa kwa sehemu yake. Badly restored. Ah alirejeshwa kisehemu. Eh uh, badly restored. Ah tena wakati mwingine tena akarejeshwa. Ah those the bride 
Tena bwana harusi was not yet the bridegroom was not yet fully revealed. Ah bwana harusi hakuwa amefunuliwa kikamilifu. Not revealed. Hakuwa amefunuliwa kikamilifu. So what happened? Ah kwa hivyo nini lisendeka? John 14:20. Ah Yohana 14:20 could not be restored. Aingeweza kurejeshwa in the in, in the time of the reformation. Ah katika nyakati za marekebisho. And you know reformation went all the way to Pentecost. Na marekebisho yaliendelea hadi Pentecost. Bwana asifiwe sana. And the time of Pentecost. Na wakati wa Pentecost. Now God. Ah sasa Mungu. Send as a prophet. Alitu, alituma nabii William Marion Branham. Ah William Marion Branham. To start restoring. Ah kwanza kurejesha the word ah uh, neno no, is number 5 or 6 whatever it is uh, by tano uh, number tano so now in the end time ah uh, kwa hivyo sasa wakati wa mwisho haleluya haleluya malaki 4 comes ah uh, malaki 4 anatokelezea but when malaki 4 came ah uh, malaki 4 alipotokelezea he started restoring the word alianza kuirejesha neno we don't have time to prove it hatuna wakati wa kuithibitisha but as the message started ah uh, bali ujumbe ulipoanza the bride to the, the end time bride ah uh, bibi harusi wakati wa mwisho was not yet restored. Eh hakuwa merejeshwa ikamilifu. The material was restored. Ah bidhaa zile zilirejeshwa. But the bride came only into view. Ah bali bibi harusi akaja tu katika ono. After the opening of the seven seals. Baada ya kufunuliwa kwa miuri saba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because if she came in view. Ah iwapo angetokelezea from 19 was it the prophet started in 19, 1933. Ah nabii alianza katika miaka 1933. Let's go all the way up to 63. Hadi mwaka wa 63 or 62 let us say 63 beginning go 62 ah tuseme 62 kama the bride will be manifested this time ah uh, iwapo bibi harusi angetokelezea wakati huu she could have gone and again ah uh, vile vile angeanguka tena why the head was not revealed ah uh, kwani kichwa haikuwa imefunuliwa kwa nasubia sana Amen. that's what the prophet says anabia sema this age here ah hii kizazi hapa was not the bride age haikuwa kizazi cha bibi harusi haleluya haleluya the bride age ah kizazi cha bibi harusi only started Ah uh, ilianza tu when the headstone came down. Ah uh, wakati jiwe la kichwani lilishuka. When the headstone came down. Ah uh, wakati jiwe la kichwani lilishuka. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what we have said read right there. Uh, when he pale, came down. Aliposhuka. He came with a little book open. Alikuja na kidabu kidogo kimefunguliwa. The material had already been restored by Malachi 4. Ah uh, bidhaa hizo hazikuwa zimetokelezwa uh, zimerejeshwa na Malachi 4. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the headstone came. Ah uh, kichwa likuja. With the same material. Na bidhaa ile ile. Which was now revealed. Ambayo ilifunuliwa first the bride ah kumdhirisha bibi harusi and now when the bride is manifested na bibi harusi anapodhirishwa quickly ah uh, john 1420 ah uh, kwa upesi yohana 14:20 is now restored ah uh, inarejeshwa that is the headstone ah uh, jiwe la kichwani comes down and shuka and the inside her na ndani mwake was the bride of the end time alikuwa bibi harusi wa wakati wa mwisho hallelujah hallelujah when she was manifested ah uh, walipo alipodhirishwa she is united anaunganishwa yeah. Yaani shetani hakupewa kamwanya hata kadogo. Uh, the devil was not given even a little space. On the day on the day when he came to Adam, alipomjia Adamu, Eve was separated. Eh, uh, hawa alitenganishwa. Before she united, a uh, kabla aunganishwe, the devil got her. Uh, Ibilisi akampata. Is that amen? Yeye yeah, ni amina. On the open the cross. Asipo uh, open the cross. When the bride was manifested, uh, Bibi Harusi alipodhirishwa. Before the husband came, kabla mume kuja, the devil got her. Uh, Ibilisi akampata. But this time, bali wakati huu, he does not give the devil a chance. Ampati Ibilisi nafasi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He comes. Anashuka. And restores the material. Na anarejesha kama bidhaa zile. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Malaki 4 True baptism Au batizo halisi Mystery of the, of the, of the Godhead Ah siri ya kuchawa All these things are restored Mambo hayo yote yanarejeshwa Then come the angel time Kisha anashuka malaika kutoka Hallelujah kutu. Hallelujah And now Na sasa From that time Kutoka wakati ule Bibi harusi Na bwana harusi Were being manifested Walikuwa wanadhihirishwa This time Wakati huu The devil is not given a chance Ah ibilisi apewi nafasi So the body Kwa hivyo mwili Now the bride tree Ah mtu wa bibi harusi which was on the pentecost au uliokuwa hapa siku ya pentecost now you night ah sasa unaungana unaungana with the bridegroom tree ah na mtu wa bwana harusi hallelujah hallelujah the, the, the bridegroom tree ah mtu wa bwana harusi to make now ah kutengeneza sasa the tree of life ah mtu wa uzima Amen. Hallelujah the tree of love. Uh, mtu wa uzima. Jesus the, the complete body. Uh, mwili mkamilifu. Oh the bride body. Au uh, mwili wa bibi harusi. The bride word. Uh, body which is the word. Uh, mwili bibi harusi mwili neno wa bibi harusi. Unites. Uh, unaongana with the bridegroom bridegroom uh, 
Wa, uh, the bravery groom body. Uh, na mwili wa bwana harusi. Which is also the word. Ambalo pia ni neno to make uh, kutengeneza the complete body uh, mwili mkamilifu of Jesus Christ. Wa Yesu Kristo. Amen. Of Jesus Christ. Wa Yesu Kristo. Hallelujah. Uh, do you see the mystery now? Uh, Ajewa yona siri sasa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So John 14:20. Ah Yohana 14:20 is only fulfilled uh, at the end time. Ah uh, wakati wa mwisho. Sorry nimeandika hapa chini. I know you're not seeing, but I think we, we, we understand what I'm trying uh, to talk about. Muna, muna so the mystery is, kwa hivu, siri ni kwamba, there must be two bodies. Uh, lazima pae na mili miwili. That is the bride groom body. Uh, mwili wa buwana harusi. The bride groom body. Uh, mwili wa buwana harusi. Which is the word. Ambaye ni neno. Unites. Uh, inaungana. With the bride body na mwili wa bibi harusi which is also the word ambaye vile vile ni neno to become akuwa the complete body akuwa mwili mkamilifu the complete perfect body a mwili mkamilifu ulio mzima of Jesus Christ a wa Yesu Kristo so the body of Jesus a kwa hivyo mwili wa Yesu is consists of two bodies. Ah, uh, ina mili miwili. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The bridegroom body. Ah, uh, mwili wa bwana harusi. And the bride body. Na mwili wa bibi harusi. And the two together. Na mawili pamoja. Become the complete body of Jesus Christ. Na mwili mkamilifu wa Yesu Kristo. That is when John 14:20. Hapo ndipo Yohana 14:20. Is now fulfilled. Ah, uh, imetimia. At that day. Katika siku hiyo. You will know. Amtajua. Am I in the Father? Ni ndani ya Baba. The Father in me. Baba ndani yangu. I in you. Mimi ndani yenu. And then the prophet when the revelation comes forth. Na Biblia nasema ufunuo huo unapotoka now it be you in me. Aitakuwa wewe ndani yangu. Nami ndani yako. At that day. Katika siku hiyo. Which day? Siku ipi? It is this day. Ni siku hii. Amina with me say. Unataka kwako nami mseme amina. Have I said something? Aje nimesema jambo? I hope you follow. If you catch if you catch the two bodies. Au kinasa mili hiyo miwili. Sasa uh, the message becomes clear. Ah uh, ujumbe unakuwa uh, inaeleweka. Are we going to there? Aje tuko pamoja. So the bride groom body. Ah kwa mwili wa bwana harusi. Ulishuka chini. On Mount Sunset. Ah uh, katika mlima Sunset. Revelation 10. Ah uh, ufunuo 10. The bride tree uh, mtu wa bibi harusi is restored ina, unarejeshwa by the message uh, kwa ujumbe of Malachi 4 wa Malachi 4 I will restore says the Lord uh, nitarejesha so, asema Bwana the bride body uh, mwili wa bibi harusi is the face of the fathers uh, ni imani ya mababa amen say amen to that amen it was here before <laughs> ilikuwa hapa mbele I will restore says the Lord uh, nitarejesha asema Bwana though the bride is comes from the bride group uh, japo kwa bibi harusi anatoka kwa bwana harusi we are just separating them uh, tunawatenganisha for us to have a kind of understanding ili tuwe na fahamu but we came from him uh, bali tulitoka kwake and we go back to him na tunarejea kwake Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the bridegroom is the headstone. And ye jiwe la kichwa. Revelation 10. Afunua 10. The bride body. A mwili wa bibi harusi. The same bride. Ah ni bibi harusi yule yule. Was here. Aliyekuwa hapa. In the beginning. Pale mwanzo. So the alpha. Kwa hivyo wa kwanza na omega. Ah wana kuwa kitu kimoja. Now why it becomes a little bit harder? Ah kwa nini inakuwa vigumu kidogo? Because the alpha. Ah ni kwa sababu yule wa alpha. Alpha. Uh, yule wa alpha there were two bodies but they were separate ah uh, kulikuwa na mili miwili bali walikuwa kando kando it was jesus ah uh, uh, palikuwa na yesu that is the john 1 1 who was uh, in him huyo ni yohana moja moja aliyekuwa ndani mwake that was one body ah uh, ulikuwa ni mwili mmoja and then there was that was alpha and then there was the bride the uh, bride tree uh, kulikuwa na mtu wa bibi harusi are we together? Je, tuko pamoja? But they appeared at different times. Ah, bali yalitokelezea katika nyakati mbalimbali. The alpha, ah, wa kwanza, Jesus, Yesu, in him, ndani mwake, was the bridegroom. Ah, alipalikuwa bwana harusi. Is that amen? Je, yeye ni amina? He died on the cross. Alikufa msalabani. He was buried. Alizikwa. He went to glory. Akaenda tukufuni. The bride tree was not yet manifested. Ah, mtu wa bibi harusi haikuwa umedhihirishwa. Amen. Amina. He came to purchase the redemption of the bride tree. Alikuja kugaramia ununuzi wa so when Jesus was here, yes, the bride was in him, uh, but not yet manifested. Bali akuwa Is that a man? Yeyo, amina. He went to glory. Alienda tukufuni. When he came on there, Pentecost, he the cross, he left the bridegroom tree up. Aliwacha mtu wa bibi harusi bwana harusi pale juu. He could just came along. Alikuja peke yake. To make the bride tree. Akutengeneza mtu wa bibi harusi. Hallelujah. Ye, so hallelujah. the alpha 
wa kwanza au wa alfa akafanyika mwisho so there are two alphas ah, kwa hivyo kuna mwanzo miwili au alfa bi body of the bridegroom ah, mwili wa bwana harusi and the body of the bride na mwili wa bibi harusi in the evening time wakati wa jioni the seals are revealed ah, miuri inapofunuliwa the two appears now together ah, wawili hawa wanatokelezea pamoja for the union ah, kwa ajili ya muungano wake nirudie hiyo <laughs> let me repeat that bwana asifiwe sana wake nirudie hiyo hiyo mathematics Uh, let me uh, repeat that mathematics. Are we together there? Do you believe Jesus was here? Ah, uh, muamini Yesu alikuepo. Do you believe the bride was in him? Muamini bibi harusi alikuwa ndani mwake. Do you believe we were in him? Ah, uh, muamini tulikuwa ndani mwake. But we are still in the jam form. Ah, uh, bali tulikuwa katika umbo la chembe. We are still in the word form. Ah, uh, tulikuwa katika umbo la neno. We were never manifested. Hatukudhihirishwa. So he came to purchase our redemption. Ah, uh, kwa hivyo alikuja kugaramia ukombozi wetu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In order to manifest the bride. Ah, uh, ili adhihirishe bibi harusi. And unite with her. Na ungane naye. And restore back the redemption. Na arejeshe ule ule Kwa hivyo katika siku ya Pentecost aliposhuka He only manifested Aliweza tu kudhihirisha the bride uh, bibi harusi But the bridegroom Bali bwana harusi was held back Alishikiliwa nyuma Because if he had come down uh, Kama angeshuka the bride and the bridegroom uh, bwana harusi na bibi harusi united Wangeunga wangeungana and the rapture have taken place Na unyakuzi ungetukia But God looked down through the church ages Bali Mungu alitazama chini katika vizazi vya makanisa He saw Luther Alimona Luther He saw Wesley Alimona Wesley He saw Pentecost Alimona Pentecost He saw you Alikuona He said time not yet Akasema wakati ugali haupo ah, lazima abakie vile vile kisha akaangua bali Mungu akasema nitarejesha aliporejesha alikuwa akirejesha mtu wa bibi harusi yetu kwa pamoja katika wakati wa jioni wakati huu shetani hapewe nafasi the devil is not given a chance anaposhuka yeye mwenyewe yuko and the two become one na wawili wanakuwa kitu kimoja and we say at that day na tunasema siku hiyo it is this day ni siku hiyo you will know mtajua kwamba i my father are one mimi na baba yangu tuko moja you will be one ah nanyi nami tutakuwa kitu kimoja katika siku hiyo is now this day ah sasa ni siku hii haleluya haleluya i hope we have money to say something ah natumai we are not going very badly i want to close vibaya ah nataka nifunge kabla ya saa sita are you following say amen ah kama mnanifuatilia mseme Amina. Bwana sasa sana, let us go to that scripture. Uh, tusome andiko hapa. So that quote before we proceed. Uh, so that we know exactly what we are talking about. Ili tujue kila mtu. Let us go to to slide 648 part uh, part 2. Katika uh, uh, no, cha part, part, I think part 1. Uh, sehemu ya kwanza. I'm not wrong. Part 1. Kitabu cha kwanza. Uh, six, is it part 1 or part 2? Part no, no, no. I think I messed, messed it. It's part 2. Uh, ni part 2 648. Mia sita arubaine na nani? So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a scripture we know. Sorry, it's a, it's a quote we know. So we just six four six 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 forty eight. Ah, mia sita arubaine na nani? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Well, how did I write it? I think I, I didn't write it properly. Ah, uh, pengine siku yandi kavizuri. How did I write it? Six forty eight. Ah uh, 648 48 Eh wetu asifiwe sana. Sorry sister, I think it is part one. Sorry, sorry. Uh, 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 it is part one. Sehemu ya kwanza. Now we see this great mystery here. Ah uh, tunaona siri hii kuu What we are talking about. Ah uh, kile ambacho tunaona habari zake. Jesus said. Ah uh, Yesu alisema. At that day. Katika siku hiyo. That is this day. Ah uh, hiyo ni siku hii. At that day. Katika siku hiyo. When this revelation is made known. Ah uh, wakati ufunuo huu unajulikana. And when it is made known. Ah uh, inapojulikana. We saw him. Ah uh, tumeona yeye. He is the weak one. Ah uh, yeye ndiye yule aliye na shela kichwa. He is the supreme authority. Yeye ndiye mamlaka kamilifu. He is the head of the body. Yeye ndiye kichwa cha mwili. He is Jesus himself. Yeye ni Yesu mwenyewe. John 1:1. Yohana 1:1. The fullness of the God in the Uungu katika mwili. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At that day. Katika siku hiyo. When this revelation is made known. Afunuo huu unapojulikana. You know. Mtajua. That I am in the Father. Kwa mimi ni ndani ya Baba. And the Father in me. Na Baba ndani yangu. Is that amen? Yeye ni Amina. And I in you. Nami ndani yenu. And you in me. Nanyi ndani yangu. When the revelation is made manifest. Ah wakati ufunuo huu unadhihirishwa. At that day. Katika siku hiyo. Shall know that I and 
my father are one. Najua kwamba mimi na babangu tu mmoja. I am in the father. Mimi ni nani ya baba? And the father in me. Na baba yu ndani yangu. How many see two people there? Wangapi wanaona watu wawili pale? But yet they are one. Ile hali wa ni mtu mmoja. Jesus the one. A Yesu neno. The body. A mwili. And the father the one. Na baba neno. The head. A kichwa. And the father. Na baba. And the son. Na mwana. Walikuwa kitu kimoja. Do you see that? Moyona hiyo. Now at that day the way the mystery of the two are one. Ah katika siku hiyo jinsi siri ya wao ni moja. Kutakuwa na bibi harusi. Are we together there? Ndio tuko pamoja pale. I will be her by my word. Ah nitamzalisha kwa neno langu. Immediately she is born. Anapozaliwa punde. I will unite with her. Ah mimi nitaungana naye. At that day. Katika siku hiyo. As I and my father were one. Ah jinsi mimi na baba walikuwa pamoja. Nanyi nami mtakuwa kitu kimoja. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At that day. Katika siku hiyo. This day, uh, ni siku hii. the mystery of oneness. Uh, the mystery of oneness uh, is not like the baptism of the Holy Ghost in your heart. Uh, sio kama ubatizo wa Roho Mtakatifu moyoni mwako. No. La. Individually, uh, let us, let us, let us, let us you know, when the revelation is made manifest, at that day, uh, katika siku hiyo, you shall know. Uh, that I am in the Father. Kwa mimi nina ni baba. Uh, uh, no, let me say. When this revelation is made manifest, on that day, you shall know that I and my father are one. I am in the father, and the father in me. Is that a man? Then when the revelation comes forth, has it come forth? Has the seals not revealed? When it is revealed, then it is I in you, and you in me. There you are. Do you see the dream? What for man manifold man first? Ah, je, mnaona madiri dirisho haya ni sifa tatu? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we read another one? Before we read another one, let us go and look at that mystery. Uh, to understand what the prophet is talking about. Let us go to slide the, the, the one we, we, we know very well. To slide 315. Hallelujah. 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 You love him? Uh, Can we stand up a bit? Um, to stretch ourselves. Aili tujinyoshe. Ili tangu itembee kidogo. You love him? Uh, we can sit down. Uh, Muketi chini. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. We can stand up again. Tusome <laughs> tena. Uh, Hallelujah. You love him? Amen. Now we can sit down. <laughs> we can push on for another 20 or so minutes. Uh, tuweza endelea kwa dakika 20 hivi. We are doing well. Uh, na mimi tuendelee vizuri. Uh, we just go to uh, uh, the to 316. Uh, the, the other is pregnant by the word of God. Ah, uh, mwingine yule anachukua mimba ya neno la Mungu. And will bring forth the body. Ah, kisha atauzaa mwili. The finished body of Jesus Christ. Ah, mwili uliokwisha ukamilika wa Yesu Kristo. Which is the bride? Ambao ni bibi harusi. The body of Christ is not yet finished. Ah, mwili wa Kristo haujamkamilika. Because members are still joining in. Ah, kwa kuwa washirika bado wanaishi. Have that. A man and a wife is one. The man and the woman is one. And Christ is one body. Ana Kristo ni mwili moja. You believe that? A muamini hiyo. Who is that body? A mwili wani nani? The head is torn. A jiwe la kichwani. How many see that? Say Amen. I want us to go slowly. And Christ is one body. Na Kristo ni mwili moja. The word. Ile neno. Is that Amen? Yoni amina. Then the bride. Kisha bibi arusi. Will have to be the rest of that body. Ai tampasa awe same ina usali ya mwili uli. And the two together. Na wawili pamoja. Make the one body again. Wata tengeneza mwili wa moja tena. Like Adam was at the beginning. Ah jinsi Adam walivokuwa pale mwanzo. We husband and the wife are one. Ah mme na mke kwa mmoja. True bride, so sold out to him that she used no mind of her own. His mind of God is his will, and his will is his word. I mean, are we together there? Uh, so this mystery of oneness, uh, we must see two bodies. Uh, lazima tuone mili miwili. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How is the how are these bodies met? Uh, mili hii yana kushana vipi? In, in vipi. Uh, how vipi. are these two bodies met? Uh, mili One vipi. is the head stone. Uh, moja ni jiwe la kichwani. Comes down. Uh, anashuka chini. Amen. Amina. Preaches the, the word is revealed to you. Uh, neno inafunuliwa kwako. You say amen. Unasema amina. You believe it. Unayamini. 
spiritually kibinafsi, you are born again when you are born again you form the body of the bride a, una tengeneza mwili wa bibi harusi you are a member of the body of the bride nawe ni mshiriki wa mwili wa harusi mwili wa harusi is already united a tayari imeunganishwa na jiwe la kichwani Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you must always see the two mysteries. The body of the headship and the body of the bride and the two unite together. The body of Christ and the headstone united on river Jordan. And today, immediately you are born again as an individual, you are automatically born in the body of Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we do that. Uh, that, that, that as we do. Ah, uh, tunapochora hiyo. Wakati tulichora hiyo. Wakati tulichora hiyo. One day I'm, I'm, of course I know I'm assuming all of us were in the convention. Ah, uh, that's my certain kuwa katika mtano wa kambi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You love the word? Ah, uh, mwaipenda neno. Let us say. Ah, uh, na tuseme kwamba the headstone comes down. Ah, uh, jiwe la kichwani linashuka chini. And in the headstone, na katika jiwe la kichwani is the book because we are we inside him. Ah, uh, ni kuna kitabu kwa kwa sisi sote we are in him in the jam form. Ah tuko ndani mwake katika hali ya chemi. Always part of the one. Ah kwa kwa daima tulikuwa sehemu ya neno. Is that amen? Je hilo ni amina? Here let us say, let us this here here is a tieno. Ah tuseme huyu hapa ni a tieno. She hears the word. Anaisikia neno. And she hears the word, but inside her. Ah bali ndani mwake. Inside her, she is a jam of life. So she is represented here. This is the head. Uh, who ndiye kichwa or god himself the head of uh, the word john uh, 1:1 kichwa ya mungu mwenyewe yohana 1:1 we are now combining them together uh, tunaunganisha sasa pamoja hallelujah hallelujah you are in him in a, let us say this is the jam of otieno uh, atuseme hii ni chembe hai la atieno atieno hears the word atieno anaisikia neno she says amen anasema amen help me lord anisaidie bwana anabatizwa majini she believe the word anaamini neno she hears the word anaisikia neno i want to be like you lord nataka niwe kama wewe bwana something happen uh, the word neno is the word alinaona neno and she says hey, na anasema amina and she's born again anazaliwa mara pili she realizes anatambua she's changed amebadilishwa she's a new creature yeye ni kiumbe kipya hallelujah hallelujah immediately she's changed anapozaliwa anapobadilishwa by one spirit kwa roho moja she's born again anazaliwa upya by that same spirit na kwa roho huyo huyo she's got speaking anaponena she's now manifested anadhihirishwa and now she's baptized Anabatizwa sasa in the body of Christ. Ndani ya mwili wa Kristo. Amen. Au tukela? Je, tuko pamoja? Uli unasikia neno? You hear the word. neno kiokoka. And if you believe, you are member now of the body of Christ. Au unakuwa mshiriki wa mwili wa Kristo. You are there in the jam form. Ulikuwa pale katika umbo la chembe. Is that amen? Hiyo ni amina. You hear the word. Unasikia neno? You hear the word. Unasikia neno? You say amen. Unasema amina. Now you are in a manifested form. Ah sasa unakuwa katika sehemu ya kudhihirishwa. Now you have the fellowship with you. Ana sasa Mungu anaweza kushiriki. Be speaking. Kuna na kiroho. You are baptized Again, in the body of Christ. Ndani ya mwili wa Kristo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are here. Ulikuwa hapa. In Kisumu. Kisumu. But the spirit is speaking. Bali kuna na kiroho. Seated with him. Umeketi naye. In heavenly places. Ndani ya maneno ya kibiguni. Ndani ya Kristo Yesu. You are manifested. Umeshadhihirishwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And now this one here. Sasa huyo hapa. Become the family of God. Anafanyika familia ya Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The family of God. Ah familia ya Mungu. Amen. Amen. It becomes Inafanyika heavenly places. A makao ya kimbinguni. Heavenly place. A makao ya kimbinguni. It becomes Inafanyika the house of God. A nyumba ya Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It becomes Inafanyika God's place of worship. Mahali pa Mungu pa kuabudu. Place of worship. Amina. Mahali pa Mungu pa kuabudu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It becomes Inafanyika there are many others. Kuna mengine mengi. It becomes the body the, the, the body of the, the body of Christ. Inafanyika mwili wa Kristo. The body of Christ. Ah mwili wa Kristo. The family of God. Ah familia ya Mungu. You are in your position. Uko katika nafasi yako. Are you in me there? Je, tuko pamoja pale? Another one here. Ah ni nyingine hapa. Hebi onyango. 
Pengine ni onyango. Amen. He's lost in the world. Ah, pia yuko But inside he has a representation. Ah, bali humu ndani ana kiwakilishi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He hears the word. Anaisikia neno. He hears the word. Anaisikia neno. Something happens inside. Kitu kinatendeka moyoni mwake. Anadhaliwa upya mara ya pili. Anadhihirishwa. We say by one spirit. Tunasema kwa roho moja. Amezaliwa kwa mara ya pili. Same spirit. Kwa roho yule yule. Anabatizwa. In the body of Christ. Ndani ya mwili wa Kristo. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are here. Uko hapa. You are seated with him. In the house of God. Katika nyumba ya Mungu. In the family of God. Katika familia ya Mungu. Sasa you are in the right place of worship. Ah uko katika mahali panapofaa hapa kuabudu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By one spirit. Ah kwa roho moja. We are all baptized. Ah sote tumebatizwa. In the body of Christ. Katika mwili wa Kristo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You love him though your heart. Ah mwampenda kwa moyo wenu wote. I hope you are saying something. Ah natumai tuwaona jambo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us read a few more quotes. Ah tusome nukuzi zingine chache. Let us read the way we were reading. Ah tusome mahali ambapo tulikosoma. Ah tuende kwa 319 sehemu ya kwanza. God don't deal with you in an organization. Ah Mungu hata tena nao ya katika kundi. He deals with you as an individual. Hata tena nao ya kama mtu binafsi. An individual. Ah mtu binafsi. Individually. Kibinafsi. Are we together there? Yeye tuko pamoja pale. Individually as a tieno. Ah kibinafsi kama tieno. Oro nyango au onyango kibinafsi you are baptized unabatizwa with the holy ghost na roho mtakatifu amen is it amina then collectively basi kijumla onyango a onyango atieno atieno and the patel in, 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 in india ana patel kule india ana na brother na ndugu mwingine kule sote tunabatizwa ndani ya mwili wa kristo na baptize here ukibatizwa hapa we say sasa tunasema and the body kichwa na mwili ni kitu kimoja amen do you follow that aje mwafuatilia hilo because atieno here kwa kuwa atieno hapa and and i mean you are going here atieno hapa na atieno hapa and patel here in india na patel hapa kule india and mwingine na mwingine na mwingine and the other ones we all fall sote tutatengeneza the bride body a mwili wa bibi harusi amen the bride body Ah mwili wa bibi harusi. We belong to the bright body. <laughs> ah tuko ah, sisi ni washiriki wa mwili wa bibi harusi. We are talking about the mystical body, yeah? Ah mwili wa siri. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You form the bright body. Ah, but as you are manifested, bali unapodhihirishwa. You are born in the body. Ah unazaliwa katika mwili. We are the head. Mali ambapo kichwa body, na mwili already united. Tayari wameunganishwa. So you are born in the body. Unazaliwa katika where mwili. There is the fullness. Mali ambapo kuna utimilifu wa uungu katika mwili. Amen. Are you So me as Maelo. Ah mimi kama Maelo. I don't have the fullness. Ah sina utimilifu wa uungu katika mwili. The body of Jesus. Ah jinsi mwili wa Yesu. Ah ulikuwa na utimilifu wa uungu katika mwili. Are you together? Bali mimi as Maelo. Bali mimi kama Maelo. Katika huo mwili. I have my portion. Nina sehemu yangu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have your portion. Nina sehemu yako. I have my portion. Nina sehemu yangu. Nina sehemu yako. Na sote pamoja. We are the bride body. Ah sisi ni mwili wa kibaisi. Mwili wa kibaisi. Na kijua na kichwani. We are united. Sasa wameungana. We are now adopted. Ah sasa tumechukuliwa kama wana wenye mamlaka. Sasa tunasema adoption. Ah hii ni siku ya kuchukuliwa wana wenye mamlaka. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because our portion kwa kuwa sehemu yetu is revealed. Ah imefunuliwa. And by one spirit. Kwa roho moja. part of that that body. Ah sisi ni sehemu ya mwili huo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many see that say eh? Na kwa nayo nayo sema amina. The body of Jesus. Ah mwili wa Yesu is equivalent. Ah unatoshana with all the members. Ah na washiriki wale wengine wote wa mwili wa bibi harusi. Is that the man? Yeah, and the body of Jesus. Basi mwili wa Yesu Kristo. Kama mtu binafsi. The head and the body were united. Ah, kichwa na mwili waliungana. But we collectively. Bali sisi ki jumla. We become the bride body. Tunafanyika mwili wa Yesu Kristo. United. Ambao tayari umeunganishwa. We the body. Ah, na mwili wa kichwa. And the head and the body are Na kichwa na mwili wanafanyika kitu kimoja. How many see that? Ndio kwa naona hilo semeni amen. You have a portion? Una sehemu? Maybe your portion? 
Pesem yako. You are a farmer. Aweni mkulima. You are a housewife. Aweni mkinyumbani. You are a preacher. Aweni mubiri. You are this. Aweni hiki. Oh, when you are in your position. Ukiwa katika nafasi yako. I will not move you. Aibilisi hawezi kukusongesha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are there to begin with. Kwani ulikuwa pale kuanzia mwanzo? Amen. But you are in a dormant state. Bali ulikuwa katika hali nyamaa. But once you hear the word. Bali unaposikia neno. Individually. Binafsi. Unazaliwa mara ya pili. Then collectively. Basi kijumla. You are a member of the bride body. Wewe ni mshiriki wa mbuga ya Yesu. Basi kijumla. We are united with the headship. Tunaunganishwa na jiwe la kichwa. The body are one. Basi kichwa na mwili unakuwa kitu kimoja. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then now you can play your role. Au unaweza kutekeleza wajibu wako. Unaweza kutekeleza wajibu wako. Hakuna the bride body. Uh, there's no gana. Hakuna uh, no hakuna chochote. Uh, there's nothing. Nobody can take your place. Hakuna wezae kuchukua nafasi yako. Hakuna na hakuna. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hadi hii kanisa iko na mapendeleo. Hakuna mapendeleo. It is just in your mind. Ah, iko tu katika nia yako. Hallelujah. Kama Mungu alikuteua kuwa kitu fulani. Ah, if God ordained you to do something. Sorry. Uh, you are given that one before the uh, foundations of the world. You will find your place there. If you are to be a preacher, you will be a preacher. Uh, if you are under the table, God will receive you. If you are outside, God will bring you back. Uh, you can't do any other thing. Uh, God will bring you back. You can't do any other thing. 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 You can't do any Jana naye katika njia. Bwana nisaidie nijue mimi ni nani. Nakupenda bwana sana. Glory to his name. Au tukufu kwa jina lake. So we all belong to one body. Kwa hivyo sisi zote ni wa mwili mmoja. There are two bodies. Hakuna mwili miwili. There is the bride body. Kuna mwili wa bibiarusi. And there is the bridegroom body. Na kuna mwili wa bwana harusi. And they two together. Na wawili pamoja. They make the complete body of Christ. Wanatengeneza mwili mkamilifu wa Kristo. And in the bride body. Na katika mwili wa bibiarusi. Consists of so many members. Ai inajumuisha washiriki kadhaa. Who came in? Ambao waliingia at different times. Katika nyakati mbalimbali. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone came in the other year. Ah mwingine alikuja mwaka ule mwingine. Ah mwingine miaka 2 iliyopita. Mwingine miaka 5 iliyopita. Ah mwingine atakuja katika siku za usoni. Ah wako katika hali ya mavu. The complete body is now complete. Ah bali mwili mkamilifu unapokamilika. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the last member has come. Na mshiriki wa mwisho aingie. Brother we go home in a rapture. Ah ndugu tukutaingia katika nyakati. And the others will follow us. Na wengine watafuta Oh, we love the world. Amen. So as an individual, individually, we are baptized with the Holy Ghost. We are baptized with the Holy Ghost. Collectively, now as a bright body, we are baptized in the bigger body. Hallelujah. When we are baptized with the Holy Ghost, and together we make the complete body one body of Jesus Christ. Because we saw in the choosing of the bride, three three sixteen. The other is pregnant by the word of God. And we bring forth the body. The finished body of Jesus Christ. Which is the bride. The body of Christ is, is, is the finished yet. Because members are still joining. I mean, know that. And, and a man and, 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 and a woman is one. Listen. And Christ. In this case. The headship. Is one body. The word. The word. The bride Abibiarusi will be the rest of that body. Atakuwa uh, masalio ya mwili wa mwingine. And the two together na wawili pamoja make the one body again. Wanatengeneza mwili wa mmoja tena. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we say na twasema kwamba Christ Christo and his church na kanisa lake awa. wao ni kitu kimoja. You love him with all your heart. Mpenda kwa moyo wenu wote. Let's go to 336. Atuende katika 336. Now this last great step Ah uh, sasa hatua hii kuu ya mwisho. Let us start from 116. Sorry, 33. Uh, Tuanze 333. Now that is the same thing. Ah uh, ni kitu ile ile. 
Now that is the same thing. Ah, sasa ni jambo ile ile. Very consistent new path. Ambalo linaagaribu kuzaliwa upya. Water, maji, blood, damu, spirit. Roho. The elements that came from his body. Ah, viungo vilivyotoka kwa mwili wake. Makes his body. Ambalo zinatengeneza mwili wake. It comes from his body. Zinatokana na mwili wake. The material that makes the, his bride. Ah, ndizo bidhaa zinazomtengeneza bibi harusi wake. The same material. Na bidhaa zile zile. Making the bride today. Zinazomtengeneza bibi harusi leo. The same material. Ndio bidhaa zile zile. The bride of the church of Pentecost. Ah, zilizotengeneza bibi harusi wa siku ya Pentecost. Can we say Amen to that. Because Adam, kwa kuwa Adam, his bride taken from his body. Ah, na bibi harusi wake ulitwaliwa katika mwili wake. And Christ is his bride taken from his body. Ah, na Kristo bibi harusi wake anatwaliwa kwa mwili wake. Started on the Pentecost. Ilianza katika siku ya Pentecost. And when Christ died, na Kristo alipokufa. There were three elements that came out from his body. Ah, kuna vitu tatu vilitoka katika mwili wake. Water Maji justification ah kuhesabiwa damu sanctification Utakaso. the spirit Aro. gives you life inakupatia uhai is that amen yeye ni amina to be a member of the body of the bride ah kuwa mshiriki wa mwili wa bibi you are justified unahesabiwa haki unatakaswa unajazwa roho mtakatifu then you are put in the body basi unaweka katika mwili how do you get there yetu kwa pamoja pale justification through believing water kuhesabiwa haki kupitia kuamini mambo ya maji sanctification through the blood ah utakaso kupitia damu then the power of the holy ghost kisha ubatizwa roho mtakatifu which gives you the life ambayo inakupatia uhai now this last great step ah sasa hatua hii ya mwisho ile kuu haleluya haleluya ile kuu sababu hajawahi kutendeka inakuja kutimiza John 14:20 ah inakuja kutimiza Yohana 14:20 Hatua hii kuu ya mwisho. Must come into the perfection. Ah, lazima ije na ingie katika ukamilifu. That the Holy Spirit. Kwa maana mtakatifu. Has to live in this church. Lazima aishi katika na sasa hivi. So perfectly. Ah, kikamilifu. Till it makes. Ah, jinsi kwamba it makes. Inafanya the head kishwa and the body mwili unite together. Iungane pamoja. We can say this day. Naweza kusema siku hii. John 14:20. Yana 14:20. Imetimia. In the last great step. Katika hatua ya kuu ya mwisho kunuliwa kwa moyo wa Saba kuleta chini ajiwe la kichwani oh we love him oh tuampenda you love him wampenda so this great step hii hatua kuu ya mwisho must come into perfection ah lazima ifikie ukamilifu the holy spirit kwa maana roho mtakatifu lazima aishi katika kanisa hilo perfectly kikamilifu till you make the church hadi itafanya so perfectly till you make the head hadi itafanya kichwa and the body na mwili unite together niungane pamoja waona si waona that is the body ah hiyo ndio mwili au together je tuko pamoja and he na yeye christ christ is the head kichwa in the body katika mwili haleluya haleluya mbona amsemi amen hapo <laughs> why don't you say amen there and he nae no in this body awajua katika mwili huu there are two uh, ni miwili there is the head kuna kichwa and the bride ah uh, kuna bibi harusi the two bodies are what uh, ah miili miwili and ni christ na kristo is the head katika kichwa he is the head ndiye kichwa in that body katika mwili huu and you nawe you are members ah uh, nyinyi ni washiriki wa mwili wa bibi harusi ndani ya mwili huo <laughs> amen <laughs> Can I say it again? Ni sema tena. He the bride. Ah yeye bibi harusi. He the bride groom zore. Yeye bwana harusi zamani. Yeye ndiye kichwa. In that body. Katika mwili huu. And you the bride. Nanyi bibi harusi. You are members. Nyinyi ni washiriki. In that body. Wa mwili huu. And the two bodies. Na mwili miwili hiyo. One complete body. Inafanyika mwili mmoja mkamilifu. Of Jesus Christ. Wa Yesu Kristo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And fulfills. Na inatimiza. John 14:20. Yohana 14:20. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now we find that promise. Ah sasa tunapata hiyo ile aidiwa. Katika siku za mwisho will be done. Ah kwamba hiyo itatekelezwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we can say without fear of contradiction. Na kusema bila pingamizi au kata. Ah kwamba hiyo imetekelezwa. Ah God's great mystery. Ah siri kuu ya Mungu is now unveiled. Ah sasa imefunuliwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That Christ kwamba Kristo and the church na kanisa are one. Ah ni mmoja. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You love him with all your heart. Mwampenda kwa moyo wenu wote. We are not doing very badly. Eh hatuendelee vibaya sana. Hallelujah. Amen. I will just now read a few more quotes. And asoma nuku zingine chache. And then we shall come to a close. Ah kisha tutafunga. Bwana asifiwe sana. I want us to read the, the uniting time and sign. Ah nataka tusome muungano wa ishara na wakati. Eh we have it there. Ah tunalo pale. Uniting time and sign. Ah wakati wa kuungana na ishara. Hallelujah. Uniting time and sign. Uh, that is uh, 
the uniting time and sign. Let us read a few. We don't read all of them. We uh, want to see this great mystery. Uh, we are just now, 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 now reinforcing uh, or trying to go through what uh, we have already read. Uh, we can go to slide, to slide, uh, to paragraph 95. God Mungu un, uniting time. Uh, wakati wakunga. So that, that, that is the uniting time. Yes, sir. Uh, wakati wakunga. Oh, my. Now remember now. Akumbuka sasa. There is a uniting of the word. Kuna kuungana kwa neno. Uniting back again. Uh, kiungana tena. To bring back uh, kuleta the tena. faith that was once delivered to the saints. Uh, imani liyo kabaidhiwa atakatifu mara moja. What does that make? Ayu uh, ya chengeneza nini? The bride body. Uh, mwili wa bibi ya rusi. The bride body, the uh, bride tree. Uh, mwili wa bibi ya rusi au mtu wa bibi ya rusi. I want us to go to 97. Uh, we see nations united. Uh, Tunaona mataifa ya kiungana. We see the world united. We see communism united. Uh, we see the churches united. Na, na and we see God united. Na, na mungu wa himself ye mwenyewe, with his bride. Na wake. And he, he ye ye, and the church na is the same, same thing. Uh, wale kitu like the family together. Uh, jinsi family yeyo pamoja. Uniting them together. Uh, wakiungana pamoja. God uniting. Uh, mungu wa Why? Kwa nini? Never never before. Hajawahi hapo mbele. Since the early church. Ah uh, waona kanisa la kwanza. Tangu. Since the early church. Ah uh, hadi kanisa la kwanza. Tangu, tangu kanisa la kwanza. Was the church a, was the pillar of fire? Eh uh, nguzo ya moto among the people. Haikuwahi kuonekana miongoni mwa watu. Never before. Hajawahi hapo mbele. Since the early church. Ah uh, tangu kanisa la kwanza. Today see the things that we are seeing today. Ah uh, uh, wa, 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 wameza kuona vitu ambavyo tuliona. This leo. was only made possible. Ah uh, hii iliwezeshwa tu. When God sent down the seven seals. Uh, Mungu alipotuma zile miuri saba. And gave us a sign by. Hallelujah. Na akatupatia ishara kwa. And send the seven angels down. Na akatuma malaika saba chini. Heaven, and came back uh, na to akaja, bring that scattered one in them the nations and yale, tied back in pamoja, the word of God again to bring tena, down uh, the Holy Spirit uh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah You love him with all your heart uh, one, one or three uh, moja na tatu. What a day what a time that we are living in. This great mystery ah, of God being made, being, being manifested. Ya Mungu Be bringing the Godhead. Showing what it was. Ah, na ni nini. How this isms went off. Ah, jinsi hizi itikadi ndogondogo zilienda kando. Made him this. E awe hiki. Somebody made him this. Mwingine akamfanya awe kile. Somebody made him that. Mwingine akamfanya awe kile. Bali malaika of the Lord wabwana. came down. Ali and brought all the isms zote, and pulled out the truth na out of it and presented it and there shirika. it is na hapo ipo, just as perfect as it can be no other way it will be Hakuna there it vile. is Hiko that is what is, he is Hiyo ndicho alicho. One of, what did he say in Malachi 4 he will restore back or he will restore back the original Pentecostal faith uh, ile imani ya ya Pentecost. back the people uh, kwa with watu, the same Pentecostal message uh, kwa ujumbe ile ya same Pentecostal, Pentecostal sign na ishara ile same Pentecostal, Pentecostal evidence uh, unyeshi ile Pentecostal. same God Mungu yule yule, same power zile same zile, teaching mafundisho yale yale, everything exactly yale, kitu vile vile. the indicator of the same pillar of fire that struck the pole down on the road to Damascus ilio mwangusha Paulo katika njiani mwake akienda Damascus 105 we see the nations united tunaona mataifa we see the world united. Na ungana. We see churches united. Na ungana. We see the bride na rusi united with the one. Amen. Amen. Why? Kwa nini? The word is God. Ah, neno ni Mungu. And the word. Na neno. Are the bridegroom. Na bwana harusi. Are you with me? Je, tuko pamoja? Are the bridegroom. Na bwana harusi. Being the word. Akiwa ndiye neno. And the bride. Na bibi harusi. Being the hearer of the word. Akiwa anaisikia neno. They come together. Wanakuja pamoja. In a union. Katika muungano. They unite like a wedding. Ah, wanaungana kama they ndoa. They are getting ready for a wedding. Ah, wako tayari kwa ajili ya harusi. They become one. Na wanafanyika the one. Moja becomes you ah uh, unafanyika neno and you become you you become the one na wewe unafanyika neno then jesus said ah uh, kisha yesu alisema ah that day katika siku hiyo you know what wajua nini oh the father is ah uh, kile alicho baba i am ah uh, mimi ni and all i am na yote nilicho you are ah uh, uli wewe ulicho oh you are na yote
yote ulicho ah mimi ni kilicho katika siku hiyo utajua mimi ni ndani ya baba baba ndani yangu mimi ndani yenu nanyi ndani yangu katika siku hiyo ni siku gani siku hii See, Waona? This day. Ni siku hii. Bana the great hidden mysteries of God. Makati siri zilizokuja za Mungu. Hazinafunuliwa. Uh, you love him though you are. Mpenda kwa moyo wenu wote. John 14:20. Uh, Yohana 14:20. Is now made manifest. Uh, sasa imedhihirishwa. That the bride. Uh, kwa bia usi. And the bridegroom. Na bwana harusi. May be one. Uh, wale kitu kimoja. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. I just want to read a couple of them. Nataka nisome baadhi yao. And then we close. Uh, kisha tufunge. Sister we can go to part 2. Uh, tuende katika sehemu yake ya pili. How many are following say amen? Ah uh, ningapo na fuata waseme amina. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Honor to, to see uh, the bright and the bridegroom tree. Nataka uh, tuone mtu wa bwana harusi na mtu wa bibi harusi umekuwa mti mmoja. Call the tree of life. Ah uh, uitoa mtu wa uzima. Which is now the, 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 the great body. Ambao sasa ni mwili ule mkuu. Oh the body au mwili of Jesus Christ wa Yesu Kristo Hallelujah Hallelujah Amen Amen I'm Sorry nah. We we are on part 2 Ah uh, tuko katika sehemu ya ya pili and I want us to read Ah uh, na ningependa uh, tusome But what followed us look at identified masterpiece. Ah uh, tutazame ile ujumbe kipeo We're just closing. I told you I will not go beyond uh, I said I will not go beyond me when I uh, check it is already bust. Uh, na, na, so I <laughs> uh, 427. Uh, I believe. Naamini. Father the bride must be part of the bridegroom. Ah uh, kwamba bibi harusi ni lazima awe sehemu ya bibi harusi. She must be as, as, as the bridegroom. Ah uh, lazima afanane na bwana harusi. Kwa nini yeye ni sehemu yake? Never never be his bride. Hawezi kuwa bibi harusi wake. And she becomes part of him. Hadi afanyike sehemu yake. And that's the part of the world. Na hiyo ndio sehemu ya neno. And says the same yesterday today and forever. Mimi ni yule yule jana leo na hata milele. Now listen the corn of wheat. Punje langano. Which is the word. Ambalo ni neno. That lives here on earth. Aliyoishi hapo limenguni. Fell the ground. Alianguka mchangani. Raised up in the likeness of the grain of wheat. Aika fuvuka katika katika Ah uh, kufanana kule kwa ile That kunye. went in the ground. Iliyo ina mchangani. That the Lord Jesus Christ. Ni bwana Yesu Kristo. And on day of Pentecost. Na siku ya Pentecost. There came a great church forth. Pakatokea kanisa kuu tena. That was the bride tree. Ah uh, huyo alikuwa ni mtu wa bibi. Then in the evening time. Wakati wa jioni basi. There came another grain of wheat. Ah uh, pakatokea tena punje lingine la ngano. The word. Ile neno. And now the word of the end time. Sasa neno la wakati wa mwisho. Listen close as we close. Sikiliza kwa makini. The mfuga. word we have received. Neno tuliyopokea produces two things inazalisha mambo mawili the bridegroom a bwana harusi and the bride na bibi harusi is that amen you don't hear me the day word that came on the pentecost ah uh, the word neno alikutokea siku ya pentecost on the produce the bride ah uh, ilimzalisha tu bibi harusi but the word that come today ah uh, bali neno linalotokea leo is the entire word ambalo ni neno lote the entire holy ghost a roho mtakatifu mzima mzima anazalisha the bride bibi harusi and the bridegroom na bwana harusi the word in the pentecost ah uh, neno katika siku ya pentecost only produced ilizalisha tu the bride bibi harusi the word in that ja 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 uh, jesus neno katika vizazi vya makanisa produce half bride ah uh, inazalisha uh, Uh, bibi harusi nusu uh, nusu and have bridegroom na nusu bwana but in even in time bali wakati wa jioni are you with me tuko nami pale ah on the pentecost ah uh, katika siku ya pentecost came a great judge forth pakatokea kanisa kuu then comes another grain of wheat pakatokea tena punje lingine la ngano be made ah uh, itengenezwe boy to be made a bridegroom ah uh, iwe bwana harusi and a bride na bibi harusi for the last day kwa ajili ya siku ya mwisho and we say this day tunasema siku hii we have arrived to fika John 14:20 Ah Yohana 14:20 is now fulfilled. Ah sasa imetimia. You love him though you are. Mpenda kwa moyo wenu wote. Ah mtu wa bibi harusi is blooming again. Ah ina ina The bride tree. Achana tena. And the bridegroom tree. Na mtu wa bibi harusi na mtu wa bwana harusi yameunganishwa tena. And the tree of life. Na mtu wa uzima is blooming again. Ah inachana tena. We have arrived. Ah tumefika. The bride and the bridegroom. Ah bwana na bibi harusi are now united. Ah sasa wameungana. We can say. Tunaweza sema we have arrived. Ah sasa tumefika. We love You are you loving uh, Lord your uh, heart? Can we close here? Uh, Can we close hapa? on the grace of of God reveal? Uh, I want to close on that. I, 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 I mean that. Uh, na Let's just go and read that one. Uh, tusome hiyo. And then we close there. Kisha Let's pala. go to, para, to slide 5 to 5 uh, to 5 14.
Uh, Twende katika uh, to 5 to 5 12 uh, sorry. Kipande cha 512. 512 part 2. Ah uh, sehemu ya pili. And now through that. I'm reading. Na sasa kupitia hayo. That is through this through, through, through the death of Christ. Ah uh, kupitia kifo cha Kristo. When he was hanged on the tree. Alipoangiki kwa msalabani. Paragraph 4 that one. Now through that. Ah uh, na sasa kupitia hiyo. He brings forth a bride tree. Ah uh, anazalisha mti wa bibi harusi. This bride tree. Ah uh, mti huu wa bibi harusi. Is the same bride tree. Ni mtu ule ule wa bibi harusi. That went under. Ah uh, ulioanguka. And then care council. Ah uh, katika baraza la nikae. Now care. through that. Sasa kupitia hayo. He brings forth Anaeleta tena a bride tree a mti wa bibi harusi listen now listen sasa which will be ambalo litakuwa the tree of life a mti wa uzima the tree of life is both the bridegroom a, and the bride a mti wa uzima ni bibi harusi so na mti wa mwanarume kwa wakati wa jioni it is not just the restoration of the bride tree a sio tu urejeshwa kwa mti wa bibi harusi no, it is the resurrection of the bride tree a ni mreji urejeshwa mti wa bibi harusi kufanyika the tree of life a mti wa uzima husband and wife a mume na mke once we unite a tunapoungana you can't defeat the tree of life again hauwezi kuishinda tena mti wa uzima tena it can fall which become the tree of life restored back to him as a husband and a wife hallelujah hallelujah you love him Mampenda. god bless you very much thank you so much for listening Asantini to me sana kwa john 14 20 uh, is now fulfilled uh, at that day this day uh, siku hii, you will know mtajua, as i am and my father are uh, jinsi mimi na baba tu moja nanyi nami tutakuwa kitu moja to be like jesus uh, kwa, kufanana to na yesu, be like jesus kufanana na yesu the hour is here brother wakati sister hapa, we can just become so much like him uh, tunaweza kufanana naye sana you and me Hadi we nami we become prisoners atue wafungwa prisoners of the world wafungwa wa neno to be like jesus ah kufanana na yesu hallelujah hallelujah praise be to god ah sifa iwe kwa mungu amen to amen. be like jesus oh do be like jesus oh Is that your prayer this in the morning? Our pastor comes to me.
When you hear the word of God Something happens This poet who sang this song Did not have the revelation you have today Today if you want to sing that song with the revelation of what has happened, what God has given to you, then you don't want to be like Jesus. You want to be in Him and He in you so that you are one to be in Jesus. You as the bride of Christ that has received the same your thoughts are different your ways are different your life is different because of what you have received your songs are different your attitude is different because of the revelation you have received. The word of God does not come from him and return void. Today he has spoken to you. If you are already in him, you are lifted to a level of never to look back again. If you have never believed him, you are encouraged that there is a way that can put you in Christ. That is by believing, repenting of your sins, taking on the word of God to give you a new nature. Let it not pass you. Let it not pass you. 
be encouraged that you climb higher that you believe Jesus Christ ask me not O gentle
God today. He is the Savior. Not the preacher or church. It is God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you believe in him, you will act on his word. Is there one day that you say, I have believed the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. And here I give my life to Him. I am not ashamed of Him. I want to take Him in my heart. Let Him be my Savior today. You do not want to postpone it again and again because He is the one who has spoken to you. Save You are a brother. You are a sister. You have believed this message. But you have not gotten that full revelation. You want to hold your hand. As you continue in this life journey. You soften down to him. And you want to give him the chance. You want to uh, live Understanding. You need him. Give you more of his revelation. In your life. You know his revelation. In your Christian life. You invite him. Oh, you have lived as a Christian. But you know you are shortfall. You, know you are not able to go ahead. Do you still raise up your hand? And tell him, my Savior. Here I am to you. 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 Raise up your hand. We want to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, in the most holy name of all, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we raise up our hands because we know our help comes from you. And we are raising to you our hands to show you that Father, in our hearts and lives, you are the one that is able to help us. Hold my hand. Lift me up, Lord, above the dangers of sin and the pressures of this life. That I may live for you. Lord Jesus Christ, 
My brothers and sisters have the same desire. We need, Lord, the power that comes from you, the revelation that comes from you. We thank you, Father, for the way you have spoken to us. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you have revealed to us. We thank you, Lord Jesus, because there is still time for us to hold to your word and manifest that truth truly reveal word of God of this day. Help us, Father. We commit our lives to you. Forgive us of our trespasses. Strengthen us, Lord, that we may not display our weakness. When we think we are weak, that's the time, Father, you will come and take over and give us your own strength. We thank you for all things. We thank you for the way you have cared for us. We thank you for the way you have spoken to us. We thank you for leading our brother to speak to us in this way. Lord, we can now see where we are in the body of the Lord Jesus Christ, which is a combination of the body of the bride and the bridegroom manifesting the revelation of God at this time. Time. May your will be done. We surrender all things to you. Where we have failed you, we ask that you forgive us. Where we have sinned, we ask that you forgive us. Restore us back to you, Lord, that we may walk in the newness of life. Because here you are. This way is narrow. And few there that find it. Lord, if there is one to go, let it be the desire of every one of us. And we don't look at the number of people. But Lord, let it be me that will go in. Saying and the desire of my brother and sister the same. Vile vile kwa ndugu yangu na dada yangu. And you want to be the ones to go in. Nataka ni wale tu tunataka tuingie. As you continue with your work now. Unapoendelea na kazi yako sasa. Soon and very soon Lord. Hivi karibu ni baba. We'll have no chance to meet like this. Hata kwa wakati kutana mara hii. We'll have no privilege like this. Hata kwa na majaliwa kama haya. Just like your spana say. Ile munde na jua kama sasa. We have privileges. Tuna majaliwa that the people that were Blessed in the past, we have God, such glorious privilege. May we never misuse it. Let your will be done. I pray, committing my brothers and sisters to God. Visit them. Lead them, Father, out of all the dangers they have solving their problems because you are our solution. And where is the key, Lord? That key is faith in your revealed word. Where if we hold, then we know whether we fail or succeed, it is all success to God. Thank you, Father. I ask all this in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. You can sit. God bless you. You can sit. God bless you. We have had a wonderful time. And just before we part, kabla tufumukane. We'll just relax with my brother. Takwa huru na ndugu yangu. A little, just a few, a few hours. Madai masama chache. He will. Travel back to Nairobi. Ata safari kuli kule Nairobi. And now by by flight. Na ndege. And I believe. Na mieni. You are able to empower me. Una weza kuniti angu. To put some soap and bread. Ili niweke sabuni na mukati. In the pocket of my brother as he goes. And I believe you are able to act like that. Na mieni mko. So I'm not displaying that to you right now. I know you are able to do it in another way. So as we relax, I believe 
I believe we'll get that. Na mimi ya kwamba tutapata hiyo. Then we proceed. Alafu tuendelee. First and foremost, la kwanza, it's a great privilege madalewa <coughs> makuu to have the a minister of God kuwa na muhuduma wa Mungu uh, uh, come and share the word with you. Kuja na kushiriki neno la Mungu pamoja na I am very grateful. Ninashukurani sana because uh, when uh, things are going on in the right way mambo yanapoendelea kwa njia sahihi you feel uh, you are elated you are lifted up na hisi ya kwamba mmeinuliwa juu we should not be people that are made believers in kisumu tusiwe tu watu wenye wamefanywa waaminiwa wa kisumu if you are made a believer in the word wapo unafanywa unafanyika waaminiwa wa neno that word will keep you katika kila pembe hilo neno litakutunza kwa hivyo uh, we have no boundaries atuna between us amaka bank ngoni mwetu sisi kama waaminio but we have the boundaries between us bali tuna mpaka ndani yetu and unbelief kwetu na kutokuwa mwini so we are kwa one hivyo, in Christ moja kwa by Christ. faith in the revealed message katika ujumbe nililofunuliwa was great ndio sababu so free Niko huru when my brother comes to visit us ndugu wetu ndugu wetu alipokuja kututembelea he can pour all that is in his heart mwaga yote yaliyomo moyoni mwake that there is no seed of discord ya kwamba kuna mbegu ya itilafu you know the reason why we are so so much careful ndio eh, sababu ya kuwa mwaangelifu sana you know, if somebody plants a seed of discord wapo Mungu amepanda mbegu ya itilafu then you can be disturbed later unaweza sumbulewa baadaye but here we are na hapa tulipo so free because we know huru kwa kuwa tunajua the seed that that this brother plant the seed of god mbegu ya mungu that is all na hiyo imetosha so we thank god so much nashukuru bwana sana now sasa uh, i want you to have this nataka <coughs> mkue na hili uh, i know there is one common thing najua kuna jambo muhimu sana you um want to send brother with the greeting nataka kutuma ndugu na salamu zenu first to his house kwanza nyumbani kwake second to his church kwa kanisa lake is that right hiyo ni kweli i see that by a show of hands nione kwa kuonesha raise up your hand if you are doing that god bless you so much brother brother stanley wherever you are ndugu stanley popote ulipo these believers are sending you awaminiwa wanakutuma with special greeting na salamu maalum to your house kwa nyumba yako that is your wife and whoever is within your domain na yote ambao mko nao hapo pamoja them in the name of the lord wasalimu katika jina la bwana and your church na kanisa lako kitengela kula kitengela greet them in the name of the lord jesus katika jina la bwana yesu kristo so kwa hivyo uh, we had a wonderful time here yesterday tulikuwa na wakati wa ajabu hapa jana with ministers na wahudumu they also requested me wao pia waliniomba to uh, uh, send their special nitume salamu zao reaching the way i'm putting it maalumu vile ninavyosema to your house and your church kwa kanisa kwa nyumbani mwenu na kanisa lift you much more na bwana ayowainue because you have, you have been of a great blessing to us kwa mkoa ya baraka sana kwetu not only in that mean in that ministry sio tu katika huo huduma but uh, also even in our church here bali hata kwa kanisa letu that ministry kionesha huo huduma god bless you so much bwana wabariki sana amen. amen otherwise god bless you i don't have anything much i have already announced what i wanted to announce tayari nimetangaza kila Uh, otherwise we can uh, we can now stand tunaweza inuka we can pray and pray tuombe na tufumukane amen let us stand na tuinuke precious father watamani baba how grateful can we be anaweza kuwa washukrani kiasi gani when you bless us and lift us this much bariki na kutuinua kiwango hichi lord bwana One thing jambo moja that you place in the soul of your own naweka kwa nafsi ya walio wako takes us very far inatufanya tunaenda mbali father baba i pray that you pour your blessing naomba umwage baraka zako on your own 
and lead us Lord to that mark of the high court Lord Jesus we are parting here I pray that Lord you bless every person bless every believer our friends and relatives that associate with us in this church bless them and save them is my prayer Lord Jesus Christ we are also praying for our minister he will be traveling back to Nairobi be his guide bless him father bless his his uh, family bariki familia yake bless his church bariki kanisa lake bless all that that associate with him bariki wote ambao wako nao in that church katika hilo kanisa bind us together tunganishe pamoja in that faith katika hiyo imani that would help us one of these days when you squeeze. come to take you as home japo kutupeleka nyumbani may as individuals what? and as Sisi many as you have been to eternal life ile wale ambao uliwatawaza kabla kwa usimamizi when that morning comes oh wakati huo ajabu ijapo and you come or you lower your chariot and chase your bride home I want to be among the number. My brother and my sister the same. That Lord let glory and honor be returned to your holy name even as we pass through this time. May your will be done. We pray committing all things in your hands. You are the one who prays for us. We don't even know how to pray. We commit our lives in your hands you may do what pleases you thank you dear father Asante, Baba. I ask this in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen Amen as we go out I understand youths will remain here God's promise is standing on firm solid rock You are, you are, you are offline. Amen. God's promise is standing on firm, solid rock, never to be washed away. And as He has promised the bride of the Lord, I'm.